Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Hamster of Wrath, with some Stellaris at a slightly later uh, time than usual. Uh, also, I've managed to leave my paint on my desk, which is a terrible idea. Let's move that. There we go. Brilliant. Good start. Solid. I hope you're all doing very well. We already have some lovely people in chat. We have the Roach Mogul, uh, Math. Uh, I've missed somebody. Quinless. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing very well. You think Stellaris Season 1 will be done today? Uh, who can tell, honestly, with this game? It is uh, anyone's guess. Uh, so, before we commence, uh, I have a little announcement to make. Uh, I am actually now a fundraiser with the charity called Stack Up, which uh, uses the medium of video games and assorted things to uh, help out veterans and uh, active service men and women. So uh, we have actually a, a charity doodad going on here. Uh, I've already forgotten what the command is myself, even though it's on the screen. I am so out of it today, this is amazing. There we go! Hey, there we go, my friggin... I already set up a bot for it because I got ahead of myself. There we go, and there's my page, just right on time. Perfect timing. God, I hope no one sees this. Anyway, this is glorious. <laughs> this is such a dumpster fire already. But anyway, that aside, there we go. That was the most awkward intro in the universe. Let's do some Stellaris. Hey! I got no idea. No, it was kind of cool. They kind of reached out to me, and and I sort of uh, had a look at what they did, and I was like, yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's go with that. Why not? Um. Okay, dear God, where do we leave off? Uh, we are under attack from bugs. Very, very big bugs. Well, I don't know how big bugs they are. They could be tiny bugs, for all I know. But I'm assuming they're big bugs, because they drive spaceships. Um, unless they sort of all get in an overcoat and drive the big spaceships. I, f I don't know. Oh, I didn't notice that before. They've got Queen, Broodmother, and Warriors. Okay, that's that's like escorts, cruisers, and assorted things. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, where the heck were we? Are any important things to address here? Resource storage full. Influence. Can't do anything about that right now. Let's not worry about that too much. Uh, I pretty messed up all the reinforcements again, so that's great. Uh, imagining the ballroom song would replace balls with bugs. <laughs> yes! I've got big bugs, uh, you've got big bugs, she's got big bugs, but we've got the biggest bugs on them all, indeed. Um, well, we kind of stopped them temporarily. Uh, we kind of door stopped them here. Uh, took out their entrance, way, entrance point here, so they've got like a fairly chonk fleet there, which I'm going to see if I can do something about. Uh, they got some fleets there. I think I sent somebody over there to deal with that, because they're non-combat fleets, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yes, uh, all is chaos, frankly. Uh, I wouldn't say they've taken over the galaxy. They have literally... So the Fire Tribes had this entire swathe, and they've actually, they came in here and they just ate this in a matter of like, I don't know, whatever the time units are in this game. Is it months, weeks, uh, years? I don't know. It didn't take very long. Um, but we have slowed them down, so we'll have to see how that uh, that pans out. We do have the Jackley aiding us, so uh, that should be good. Unless they do something really stupid, which is also entirely possible. But, uh, right, let's unpause the button and uh, see what happens, because uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on these guys. Uh, everything is moving around, and most of it is not mine. Okay, looks like the Jackley have just engaged, engaged that group there. They're going to die horribly, because uh, that's a very understrength fleet. I will not be able to get over there in time, but maybe I can uh, have a go at this lot while they're not looking. Uh, that might work. So let's go here. Sure, I've got somebody heading this way. Uh, oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going there. What about your friends? Oh, you're all going there. Okay. That'll bottle that fleet up there. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is working. Um, every couple of seconds on regular speed is a day. Okay, that's what I figured. So in fact, that now will have been a matter of weeks that it took them to pull off all this nonsense, but uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that one. Research complete. Yeah, as expected, the... Uh, uh, oh, wait, no, the Jack... Wow, hang on a minute. Oh! Of course! The Jackley can use my gateways! I forgot about this. They've literally sent the entire Jackley death fleet uh, in there, so that's actually <laughs> quite handy. 
Okay, this is actually working out, uh, terrifyingly. I'm fastest a few days, I'm fastest like a couple of weeks every minute or so. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I've got it on normal speed, so, uh, whatever that, uh, encounter says. Uh, ooh, more research. What else can we have? Code breaking, uh, defense grid supercomputer? I don't know, that sounds fun. Uh, I'm quite sure what that does, but, uh, we'll find out. Doing a Space Dwarf playthrough at the moment. Oh, cool. I was actually painting some stuff earlier on. They're my, they're my budget Space Dwarves. I'll, uh, I'll have to put a... When I finished one of them, I'll have to put a picture in the Discord. I was like, it's the first time I picked up a paintbrush in forever. Uh, and I was like, oh god, what have I done? And then, uh, it wasn't too bad after that. <clears throat> hey, Conreact! Have we become the problem? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. We're, we're still dealing with the problem, uh, currently. Uh, I don't already have research complexes. Oh no, research complexes. Oh, that uses a lot of gas. I don't know, uh, code breaking. I don't know any of this, not sure. What does chemical plants do? Minerals into volatile modes? Uh, maybe, I don't know. It might come in handy later, who knows. Hostile station engaged. Uh, okay, where is that? Which hostile station has been engaged? Also the Senate's in session. Oh, this one probably, where I've just sent everyone. Yeah, that Jackley fleet, that didn't go too well for them. That's 8,000. Do we have enough? Oh, that could be a close fight there, actually. Uh, once again, I've accidentally sent all of these... I've tried to reinforce some fleets, and then I moved the fleet, and then the reinforcements just turn up piecemeal. It's not good. Uh, is Hamster Teen still alive? Good question. I'm gonna go with possibly not. Oh, I think, I think he may have, uh, retired. What is that? What is a Shabtac? What the hell is a Shabtac? I've never seen a Shabtac before. Oh, that's slightly worrisome. I don't know what a Shabtac is. Uh, Eclipse hasn't happened yet. Guess it's soon. Oh, yes, this is the, uh... Is it in, is it America that can see the Eclipse? I'm not sure. Oh, I tell you what I have done. I haven't got my uh, channel points up, have I? No, I didn't. Give me but a moment. Pro streamer. Sorry, my uh, prep for this was a little bit rushed. I had a cunning plan, and it was a very cunning plan. Uh, and then, unfortunately, the universe conspired to undo my cunning plan. So that kind of sucked. Uh, so give me a second. Let me reinstate the channel points. Go on, Twitch dashboard. Work with me here. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. That's the right one. And that's the right one. There we go. Nailed it. No problems. Um, uh, they use the Galactic Comedy Galactic Comedy Show where the Emperor Oppie gets insulted to the Galactic Senate. May maybe I don't know. It's entirely possible. Uh, okay, we took that. No problems. Now, if these two fleets... I, it would be great if the Jackley actually came here. But they're not gonna... Oh, okay, I just told them to go that way anyway. That's fine. That'll work out fine. This is not one-sided, hopefully. I mean, it's... Hopefully it's one-sided for me. Yep, that worked. That worked. What was that? A fading hostile fleet? No, I think that's a big fat lie. That seems to have done most of my cunning plans. Yeah, most of my cunning plans don't Science end up being very cunning. It's very attack. true. Science ship lost. Oh! No! Not the Eldritch Oopsie ship! How did that happen? Well... Tits. How did that happen? Uh... Oh, that's... That's not good. Oh, no. Have they gone somewhere I wasn't expecting them to? Well, shit. Well, that lasted quite a while, and then it died. Uh, that must have taken a very odd route. Um, I don't know what happened to that. <laughs> well, shit. I best, uh, actually, do I need any more science vessels right now? I'm not sure I do. Let's, let's worry about the important stuff right now. 
Uh, except I don't know what a plan is or plan anything about canning. No, that's very true. Hey, Bamboozle, how's it going? Can't believe that. We had that ship for, like, literal ages. And, uh, some cheeky bugger just blew it up. Which I think is very rude. Foreign Empire. Uh, we're not worrying about you right now. You are not my problem. Okay, are the Jackley gonna get stuck in here? Because if they do, we can crush that lot. This is fine. Everything is perfectly fine. Okay, they are reinforcing over there. That's good. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. How big was that? I thought we blew that up already. Maybe we didn't. What does the victory chart look at the moment? I think the victory chart's on pause, actually. Let me see if I can actually find it. Um. Well, we're at the top of it. Uh, funnily enough, but apparently victory is currently not possible. So, uh, that's, that's kind of interesting. Well, yes, we're winning, but apparently victory is not, probably because the bugs are about. So, yeah, we're out, we did actually go from a, a good third to, uh, yes, we are now, uh, number one, which is kind of funny. Bruce is building a monument to the Eldritch Oopsie ship right now. Yeah, I'm annoyed about that. That was a really good ship, too. Um, winning for first game, what sorcery is this? Probably the lowest difficulty setting and some good advice. Probably. It's got something to do with it. Uh, only five more medals, the double reinforcements booster. Uh, yeah, I haven't got my medals from the last event yet, actually. Uh, I'm sure I'll get them eventually, but uh, they, have, they have failed to materialize. Not that I really did much for the war effort, to be honest, but still. Uh, that's the Empire Capital. What is happening here? Why are they, why are they yelling at me about things? Not sure. Don't know what the problem is. Uh, is that fleet What's running away? Station? That fleet's running away. That's an awkward pain in the ass. Or are they attempting to run away? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, okay, they're running away. Why is that in red? System restricted. Why is the system restricted? You were an Eldritch Oopsie, and you were our Oopsie. Yeah, exactly. Um, what crisis is it? Do we know yet? At the moment, it's the... What do they call themselves? The Prothoran Scourge, uh, which uh, came in here, munched a load of systems uh, before we started uh, slapping them in the face quite hard, which uh, appears to be working so far. Yes, the Zerg. Yep. Yeah. I'm slightly interested why it mean what what a restricted system means, but okay. Hostile station engaged. That's fine. Oh, gives this enormous sea of ships coming down here. This is good. Enormous sea of ships, largely made of uh, corvettes, probably. Research but complete. Okay, I have completed research on something. Ancient defensive web slinger. That sounds fun. No idea. What else we got? Um, b -b 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 harvest the E seven ten quickly. <laughs> Robin Robin Hood offering a credit. What? I I don't understand. Why would Robin Hood be offering credit? Oh, scourge missile. This is the thing that we actually uh stole from the um uh the scourge people but apparently it's not actually that great but i might research it anyway for comedy value right am i actually stopped paying attention they haven't accidentally invaded somewhere they shouldn't have done have they no i think we're safe i think we've got them bottled up i mean for now anyway okay here comes one, here comes another one of my enormous fleets of doom which is probably like 16 fleets of doom in one Hostile fleet engaged. Yep, yep, wait, wait, no, yep, there you go, all turn up at once. Uh, rising unemployment, we'll get to it, don't worry about it. Robin charges credit because even if a nobility doesn't carry cash anymore. We're the contactless bandits, uh, we only, we only take cards, we don't take cash anymore. Okay, that, that's gone, that's good. Uh, Commander Shipstead served the Empire, and he retired at the age of 203. Nice. 
Um, oh, this is actually working. I'm slightly concerned. Uh, in which case, we should probably send more people. Why are we going that way? Oh, because there's no link here. <laughs> I'm sick. Why is he going that way? Because you can't you can't get there otherwise. That's a that's a fairly compelling reason. Robin Hood, which notoriously stopped allowing people from buying GameStop shares because their corporate owners were shorting GameStop. What what is Robin Hood? I I have no idea what Robin Hood actually is, other than the historical reference, which I feel probably doesn't apply. A flower company. Oh, okay. Or it's a trading tool. <laughs> Great. I've got three. I've uh, this is I, this is this is why my chat is the greatest. I've got three separate answer hit answers here. This is amazing. So it's either a flower company, a trading tool, or the literal historical Robin Hood. Okay. Can I just pick whichever's the funniest out of those three? I, I, I think I prefer the that. Complete. I was completely baffled. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. I am I am perpetually baffled. It is my way of life. Okay, we're gonna destroy that ship there. This is this is actually going are we actually gonna win this? Because the really funny thing is if I actually win, what do I do then? <laughs> there are other things to worry about, to be honest. Like for example, the uh what do I call it? The the Athalans are still kicking off. Uh, that is a problem. In fact, let's have a look at the war situation here. What's going on? Migration treaty. Not worried about that. Uh, some research I've completely missed on. Uh, no idea. It might be all three. Yeah, that's very true. Continue the game or just end it. Oh, okay. Uh, shield harmonics. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Um, okay. Wow, is that fleet... Why has my fleet got bigger? I'm not complaining. My fleet got bigger. Are you having fleet problems? Then take fleet in big enough. Makes your fleets bigger. Oh, they attacked me! Oh, okay, in, that, in which case, uh, let's, let's not leave the, uh... Yeah, let's actually, like, fuck them up. Where are they? Yes, attack, attack them. Nope. I don't know what I did there. Wait, are we winning? Yep. Hostile Easy. Engaged. Easy clap. Wow. Okay. This is actually. I'm. I'm. I'm slightly worried. This is gonna be. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. What? Gulantha herds. Oh, this is the science thing. I forgot all about. Of. Right. Uh, they're running out of stuff. They are actually running out of stuff. This is really funny. Um, this this might actually work, you know. I think our tech level may be actually massively, uh, sort of um, over the top versus their theirs. I think. Okay, what we got here? The path to victory committee. The Rickthaler and Fire Triumphs has finally embraced the faction of Doctor Nicole. The militaristic. Well, that's a surprise. Don't think it's going to matter too much. I'm going to have a final game in episode zero in one stream. Oh god. Oh uh, wow, I think I actually won. Uh, right. That's. I'm going to have to. I am actually going to have to build a, a science vessel. That's a little embarrassing. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are my? Oh no, they're built in. Where do I build science vessels from? It's been so long since I've actually built one. Uh, as we see, the the fire tribes rapidly taking their uh, territory back. Uh, let me find a fleet yard somewhere. I'm still baffled you're winning your first game. Uh, it's basically uh, I baffled everyone with bullshit. That's 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 what I think. Uh, here we go, shipyard. Any shipyard, don't mind. Um, uh, 
side chip. There we go. But we'll get a couple of those. Why not? Right, where is my last sign chip and how can I make sure it doesn't die? Okay. Because... That's unsurveyed, so we can't have it. That's unclaimed. I wonder if we could actually... Wait, do we still have, still have the wormhole down here or do we lose the wormhole? Okay, we've still got the gateway, but I'm, I have a funny feeling the moment this uh, stops... They're probably going to want their planets back, which is, I guess, fair enough. Uh, that could be a problem. Also, there's something I haven't destroyed there. Should probably get over there and do that. Actually, where's my last, last construction ship? There we go. That's unclaimed. That's Well, I suppose, honestly, I might just nick this. Could I nick that? I'm going to nick it. Why not? Right, uh, that's my science ship. Uh, that's unsurveyed. Let's go over here. Uh, yeah, surveyed the system. Just, just do a cheeky, cheeky land grab while, uh, while well, they're not looking. I mean, the Jackley are already doing it. Hostile fleet engaged. Yep, that's fine. That's gonna go splat in fairly short orders. Uh, did we get it? I think we got it. Yeah, well, honestly, the, the Scourge boiled up out of here, and then what basically happened, I just... The... the I think the big the big thing about it is that the Jackley got involved as well. The Jackley started sending their ships, which is really handy. Um, And then... The, the really funny thing about it, though, is if you look down here... You'll notice these systems are occupied by the Watchers, because while we've been fighting the galaxy-ending Scourge, the Watchers have been beating up the Fire Tribes, as have the Athalans. So the Fire Tribes actually don't have an awful lot of territory left, one way or another, so uh, I don't think they're going to want to kick off against us, because, I mean, they could close their borders, which would be a little awkward, but... Eh. If I get a construction ship this side of the their territory, though, I could probably build, like, a mega structure or something, and then it wouldn't matter. So, it's fine. This is fine. Right, that's Chonk Fleet. Yeah, these... Okay, I'm having no problem handling handling their stuff. This is quite funny. Sending lots of fleet in the AI control every fleet all at once. Yeah, If and also, bearing in mind, I think the other reason we're winning is that we've had the... the Tsar Clan's Pilgrims... Uh, so we've just literally pray to the giant head, get a fleet of like 40,000 military capacity just manifest on our doorstep, and we just started yeeting that at the enemy as well, and and that's, we, we've just smashed them in the face, so. Reuse a galaxy CD would be kind of cool to play season 2 in the same galaxy, but with a relic world. Honestly, I don't think I'd probably want to have exactly the same galaxy because there are too many goddamn planets. I have got... It's it's it's, it's like the, the planet management is now... Like, look at the state of this. I can't even use any of my... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, God, I can't remember the name of the map. We'll get to them in a minute. Uh, hey, Hell's Razor, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, what are they called? Edicts. I can't use any of the edicts because it costs more than I can afford because my, my empire is so freaking huge. So, I don't know. I, I think I think possibly some extra tweaks would be a good idea. But this was funny because I literally had no idea what I was doing. I literally picked, I made a species, pressed play, and uh, went for it, basically. Ah, okay, here we go. So they've got slightly more here. Right, okay, let's actually... Where are you guys going? Right, you guys stop for a second. Let's get everything in one place and then just go crazy. Because there's only one way out of that system, and it's through that planet. Spend an hour min-maxing that empire. I'm not sure, honestly, today, I'm not sure I can. <laughs> oh, God.
Yeah, I, th I think I think I think being able to get hold of the seed for this galaxy might be a little bit uh, out of my range, to be honest. Right, is that doing anything? Right, that can stay there because that's an entry point. Oh, except they can't get over from here. Uh, we might have actually bottlenecked these guys. This is quite funny. All right, they've still got a. They've still got a. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter because the the conquerors are after them now, so that's good. Oh, okay. How much military power have we got here? Uh, all of it. Uh, let's see it. Put a stop to that, matey. Hostile fleet engaged. All right. Okay, he went. Complete. Okay, so. Council agenda ready. Oh, okay. Give me a second. I'm still war fighting. If we just uh camp here, they literally can't leave. That's it. Uh, so yeah, have we bottled these guys up? Now, what I know is going to happen. What's going to happen is the moment we contain these guys, somebody else is going to kick it off. And because we haven't got our armies in the right place, we'll probably get absolutely steamrolled. But, you know. Um, I had prior real time with Paul's strategy game experience. I'm calling that the reason you've made it through this. Ah. Uh, have I, though? <laughs> what other pool strategy game would I have played? Uh, I don't know. Can't think. Oh, yes, yes. The the human star hegemony uh, is still here. And still largely buggered, as far as I can see, which is kind of funny. Oh, yeah, I do, pl I do plenty of turn-based stuff, yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. There's stuff going on. What are we launching? Uh, sure, whatever that is, we'll launch that. That's fine. Uh, council agenda available. Oh yeah, no, we just did that. Favor gained. Uh, with the Lockan Empire. Okay, good, good. Construction complete. A research station. Okay, I don't even know where that is, but thanks for that. Uh, right, cool. Construction complete. No, you're not colonizing anywhere. We're gonna do terrible things to you. Okay, that Hostile colony ship just vanished, but that's okay. Hey, we've got a foothold. Hey, that's quite funny. Uh, I'm sure I sent a science ship in this direction. But this is fine. Yes, soul on a black hole. That's that's literally it. Soul and a black hole, two bits, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, 50, 40, that, I still don't think they could take us. Nah, I think I'm gonna camp here. Galactic reforms trait, okay, that's good. Wait, hang on. Hang on, what's this? Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, wow. Okay, the Conquerors have actually taken uh, some land up here. This is just, this is weird. God, you thought this map was a mess before. It's, it's even worse now. The parallel dimension portal opened up next to Sol, revealing an alternate Sol. You could technically call that a parasol. Hey! Hostile hey! A parasol. Oh, okay, yep, nope, murdered that. Nope, that system's mine too. Hostile fleet engaged. Yep, nope, that's not gonna matter. Nope, think we can handle that too. Yep, that's fine. Bye. Thanks for playing. Uh, ooh, did we actually Hostile take some casualties there? Engaged. I can't tell. They are trying to throw everything at us and it's not working. Alright, I think we took some damage there, but that's okay. Right, now they can't get out of here now. By my reckoning. Right, okay. Uh do do do. What do I need? What do I need? Um Some reinforcements might be a good idea. <laughs> right, that's unclaimed. Uh that's fine. I wonder. I did build an outpost here, didn't I? Oh, I've probably got plenty of friggin' Oh, borders closed. Wait, that! Ah, it's all happening too quickly. Holy shit. 
Uh, the Athalonary Conquerors have closed their borders. That's fine. Don't care about that. I'll sort that out later. I'm too busy dealing with intergalactic threats. Thank you very much. Um... Okay, yeah, we could do some reinforcing here. We're a little, uh, we're a little smashed. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Um, I'm not transfer. No shipyard available to build fleet. Okay, that's awkward. Oh, because some of them are Thalons, aren't they? Which we can't do. That's a fair point. Uh, these guys we can, though. Anything that isn't weird and alien, we can fix. Well, not fix, but... If something worse came in, I mean, it would be on brand. It would be very on brand. This is an hellaciously disorganized fleet, and I'm fully aware of it. Uh, in fact, we have got these guys. Okay, they're coming. They're coming at us again. That could start being a problem. I love how the Jack Leaf just left us to it again. That's good. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, again, why are most of my fleets just sat there? Because they're set to passive. Because I keep doing this to myself. And wondering why everyone gets clapped. It's because they're not actually fighting back. Oh, dear. Right, let's try that again. There you go. Actually, that, that could explain why some of them took some damage. They basically just sat there and took it. <laughs> That's not ideal. Okay, I think we've got them doorstopped. We've we've got them doorstopped here. Uh, that's actually working. Uh, can I build any more fleets? That's the next question. Uh, no, I think as a default, when they when I make a new fleet, they come out as passive. Uh, which I I keep forgetting to change. Uh, yeah, look at this. I've got a bunch of fleets that I just never actually. I still don't think we can't build Titans yet, because I don't think... Oh, can we? Lacking a... Th oh, wow. It turns out we still can't build Titans. <laughs> and we're out of candy. Son of a bitch. Right, hang on. Uh, Sell all the food. I need candy. All right. Oh, fuck. We're at maximum uh, thing. Whoops. Damn it. I just threw some of that away. That wasn't good. Uh, right, how's that? Oh, Jesus Christ, now we're out of energy credits. Oh, what's going wrong? I can't manage an empire. Uh, this is fine. We're all good. Titan assembly yards. Yeah, I think I was thinking about putting one together, and I think I forgot. I'm sure one of these was... Because what did you what do you have to have? You have to have a Is it a citadel? I can't remember. No, oh, that's a basic st Oh yeah, it has to be a star fortress, then a I don't know. <laughs> oh, biggest starport. Oh, okay. You can actually talk to the Scourge of your psionic. I bet that's a fun conversation. Good afternoon, eat, kill, maim, destroy. Well, that was a nice conversation. I'm glad we had it. Uh, rising unemployment. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Right. Now, none of these... That's a colony thing. Okay, we should just... Oh, they actually have a they actually have a planet. Oh, okay. Okay, right. I see how that is. I think we can take it. Uh oh dear. Gab daughter of Srak. Well, I best look at my uh government. I think something's gone or, or, is, oh, oh, wasn't a leader. Okay. I mean, wasn't a council person. You motley crew of lunatics I've got there. Uh, oh, wow, commanders. Okay, yeah, I should probably hire some more commanders. Jesus Christ. 
Uh, recruitable leaders external. Okay. Uh, Bakura. Champion of the people. Oh, ship weapons range. Yeah, that sounds. You sound like a. You sound like a good person, para peacock dude. They're rather surprised if you do speak to them. Okay. <laughs> we didn't think you could do that. Redubus. Uh. Oh, hey, he's pretty good. Yeah, we'll have him. Right, I should probably put them in charge of some some fleets, maybe. Like, I don't know, the one that's doing all the fighting might be an idea. Oh, my word. Okay, right. Uh, I should probably see if I can actually merge some of these. Right, hang on. That's our clan's pilgrims. Uh, I think some of these are too big. My, my fleet organization skills are terrible. It has to be said. Uh, Oppenhamster is immortal, uh, due to some, uh, rather amusing, uh, early turns of events. <laughs> let's, let's put it that way. There was, a uh, there was an accident in Raccoon City involving zombies, and, uh, he became immortal. Basically. I still can't merge these either, Jesus. Why ain't that? Oh, okay, it's because the command limit's not high enough. Okay, never mind, let's not worry about that right now. I'm going to need my invasion fleet pretty soon. Oh, current chronological age. Oh, good question. Um, 279. Which is a pretty good innings. Hey, look, the fights are actually going slightly faster. Now I've got all the, uh, all the ships set on attack. Right, how scary is this planet? Uh... 14, not very. Right, where's my invasion fleet? That's what I need right now. Friggin' miles away, but never mind, that's fine. He has seen some shit. Yes, yes he has. He has seen a considerable amount of shit. More than one would probably be comfortable seeing in a lifetime, I would think. How many children he has? I think he only has one. Oh wait, did we? Oh no, they're still they're still occupying it. Okay. Yep. Shoot the invasion fleet. Good. Right. Uh. So where are we? Yeah, you guys need to get there, and then what we're gonna do is mosey on over here and keep going. That we know of, yeah. Doctor Op Oppenhamster, universal no universal playboy sounds like he'll shag anything. Well, actually, that could be equally funny. Station engaged. Doctor Opp Oppenhamster, galaxy playboy. I, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> you get the idea. Oh man, I should have had a cup of tea or something before I started. Man, because it, it's so funny. I'm looking down at the clock and saying, "Oh." Complete. It's nearly, uh, it's, it's, it's gone seven o'clock. It's like, dude, you started at half six. I was like, oh yeah. So confused. He is the Senate, indeed. Right, I think all we need to Hostiles do is engaged. sort out that uh, planet, and I think we're okay. Mostly. That's one way of putting it. Oh, that's a Fire Tribes colony. Okay, that's fine. They can have that back. That's okay. I, I helped them I helped them liberate it. That's perfectly okay. I wonder if I can actually get home. I should be able to get home. If not, that could be a little bit awkward. Hostile station engaged. Uh doesn't matter. We are reinforcing the daylights out of them. Oh, hello. Translation software malfunction. Oh, not again. A mischievous third party was able to hack into the translation software of Envoy. A vile lizard. Well, I mean, they are kind of lizards. Excellent. Wait, a noble con- wait, hang on. 
They took it with a sense of humor. The appropriate, the appropriate, inappropriate, the Hamsterian Empire and Envoy are circulated widely, causing much mirth among their people. Okay, they, 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 they found it was funny. That's good. They have a sense of humor about these things. Space-born life form encountered. Oh, that's a good point. I could build a gate here, couldn't I? That's actually a fair shout. Uh, now I've got to remind myself how to do that because I frequently get it wrong. Gateway. Uh, here? No? Hey, I got it right! Best put some defenses on this, actually. Ion cannon? Yeah, can't build that yet. Uh, that's a favor. That's a resolution. I don't know. I'm not worried about resolutions right now. Someone tried to smear you and failed. Yeah, probably. Sounds about right. Ah, yes. Now, this is the problem I thought we were going to have, is that that lot is still spawning, um... Right, hang on. Hang on, hang on. That planet's still spawning stuff, which we don't want it to do. That makes sense. Okay. How big's that? That's fine. We can take that too. Right, where is that? Is that behind that? It is. Good. Hostile station engaged. Oh, and, and we're still reinforcing as we go. Destroyed. Holy shit. Uh, promising offer. Captain Larb, son of Debe, the commanding officer of the Knight Crew, served with distinction during a recent engagement to place in the Fire Home system. The Admiralty on the Great Wheel recognized the qualities of promising flag officer to promote the captain to the rank of full commander. Cool! Let's have a look at him. Uh, what was he called again? Larb, son of Debe. Uh, wow, he's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, okay. I think we should put you in charge of something. Uh, something very big. Um, or something relatively big. How about a bunch of pilgrims' battle cruisers? Why not? That should work. Congrats. Right, okay, so we can still get this sorted? Did they have a colony here? No, they didn't. Okay. Who's yelling at me? Hostile fleet engaged. Break secret fealty. Oh, n now they now of course that the the a horrible insect threat is like one almost finished. They're kind of like, "Ah, we don't like you anymore." Did I put him in charge of one cruiser? That's a bit embarrassing. Uh, I'll have to figure it out in a second. Because uh, they're in the middle. It's fine. He's 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 in charge of it. It's fine. Fleet destroyed. I take it back. He got killed. So he literally got promoted, and then he exploded. <laughs> Uh, that's unfortunate, uh, but kind of funny at the same time. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Fleet destroyed. Oh my god, hang on a minute. That's... wow. That put up more of a fight than I thought it would. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Uh, am I winning? Okay, I did win. Jesus Christ, okay. That was big. Ah, damn it. Yes, you see, look, they've... 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 Uh, oh, now they've rebuilt that. How big is that? Oh, you can take that. That's fine. I could have sworn I put, in, put him in charge of something else. Uh, also, why can't I click on these ships anymore? Uh, has my game exploded? Hostile station engaged. Oh no, they're still fighting. Okay. I don't know what's going on now, but I legit don't know what's going on. Right. Let's put somebody in charge of this. Uh, what have we got? Who have we got? 
That's crime. That's not butchery. No, I want military fleet something. Military fleet. Ah, you'll do. Right, now then. Uh Right, need to camp on that thing. Now I need to invade it to get rid of the bastards. After the last one, I'm surprised there's still candidates. Yeah, it's kind of like, well, this person just died. Uh, who wants a promotion? Yeah. It's like Klingon promotion. Right, theoretically, if we could invade... What do their armies look like? There is no army. That's unfortunate. So we have to just invade here, and I think that's their last planet. Hey, the Archaos! And there's a bunch of weird signals coming from said spaceship. Leave it alone. It's good advice. Uh, honestly, it is. It is very good advice. Uh, okay. Here are all these fleets I failed to actually manage properly. So that's that's always funny. Oh my word. Now it's a race to see who can steal the uh, who can steal the uh, territory back now. That's unsurveyed. Well, the Jackley are surveying that one, so that's probably a good idea. Uh, how about I set you to do automated stuff and do that? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, basically, if you see weird, scary shit in space, just don't mess with it. Just, just, just walk away or float away, or any System of these. Survey complete. Uh, commercial pact invitation. The Haspal Star Commonality entered into commercial pact with the Rekthaler and Fire Tribes. Interesting. Is is everybody like like sort of? Uh, turn on me now that, that we're kind of well they're still at war with the conquerors they, they can have all that that's fine hey tanker uh, just land on it explore nothing will go wrong in life yeah yeah you know the, the great adventure incoming transmission oh hello uh, oh, they're still going, the little bastards. How are they doing that? Oh, okay, okay, I see how it is. Right. Okay, I see how it go. I see how it do. Right. Uh, cannot land armies on an uninhabitable planet. Oh, son of a bitch. Um, hmm. Interesting. Hostile fleet engaged. So, what do we do about that? Because that is now owned by the bastards. It's an infected world. What do we do with infected worlds then? Do we just bomb the crap out of them? Because obviously they're going to keep sprouting from there, which is going to be super irritating. Hmm. Uh, the living shit out of it. I don't think that's going to work, is it? Oh, bombard, oh, bombard it will work. Okay. Uh, wait, the orbital bombardment of Delnik Colony has sparked our council to discuss how we should respond in the hypothetical scenario of a surrender. <sighs> what? The things hell-bent on destroying all life in the galaxy? We should, we should allow their surrender. Are we, is that really? Policy on orbital surrender acceptance is set to prohibited. 
Policy of orbital surrender acceptance is set to allowed. Should we say no? Because I'm not. It's not often I orbitally bombard something. So I'll just say. Yeah, that's strange. I'll say prohibit. Right. So. So what is there? Is there a population here? Oh god. Wait, hold, hold. Active law, medium federation centralization, vote proposed change to high federation centralization. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't know what I'm voting for. <laughs> uh, I guess I should probably say no. Because I have no idea what that actually means. Planet has a percentage chance of surrender. Oh, okay. I'm gonna vote no, because I don't actually know what that means. Oh, it's good as long as you're happy with the Federation. Oh, well, too late now. Oh, yeah, there's... No, wait, hang on. There's one population of these bastards there. Okay. But I can't land... Wait, but these are these are Cybrex, aren't they? Because if these are all Cybrex, why can't they land on an uninhabitable planet? That's nonsense. They're all robots. They should be able to land, but apparently they can't. Well, poo. Basically. Oh well, never mind. They they voted it through anyway. Magic, yeah, basically. Natural sanctuaries. We should preserve natural spaces of parks. Diplomatic and weight from economy minus forty. Uh, clear block of time plus. No, fuck off. I am the Senate. I say nay. Shall not give the part of people parks. Oh, yeah, we got to sort our colonies at some point. Can't I just want to get rid of these guys? Complete. Make them go away. Uh, ooh, kinetic artillery. Yeah, no, we like that. Kinect kinetic artillery, good. Uh, living reactive armor. Okay, that sounds fun. Um, sure, why not? Globe spanning ocean of lava and tectonic instability would prohibit landing on said planet. I think it's the fact it's covered in bugs. Is the uh, biggest problem, uh, largely. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, you guys got anywhere to run? Yes, unemployment. I know. Yes, more unemployment. I'm aware. Oh, that up. Uh, oh, hello. Brigands blockade at Rovgedi. A temporary blockade is now in effect in Rovgedi. External the the Bemat Thalassocracy. Who the fuck are you guys? What the who the what? Who the bloody hell are these people? Yes, what? That would be my that would be my next question. What fucking planet is that? I have no idea. Um we we're gonna have to find out at some point. Zarkland wheels it. Uh what was the name of the planet? Rog Rog something? Reg Reg something? I can't fucking remember what it was called. Oh, I missed the I missed the camera thing. Hang on, is it will it be in here? No. Bollocks! Well, I've got no idea that is.
Uh, evading herself late. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's a... Who are these people? Oh, the BMAT Thalassocracy. Who are they? What the? Who? What? I'm busy murdering bugs. Okay. If you fucking want some, you can bloody have some. Don't you kill my Cybrex. Acquisitor fleet. I have no idea where these people came from. Who are these people? Alright, I'm going to take a slight diversion, kick these people in the face, and uh, figure it out from there. Emergency FTL casualties. What? Uh, what? What? Right, I don't know who you lot are, but you're going to get your asses handed to you, frankly. Right, who are this lot? Yeah, fuck you and your blockades, chuckle fucks. Right, okay. Yeah, they did they did quite a bit of damage, actually. Right, hang on a minute. Let's uh Yeah, that was weird. Right, hold on. What were they called? The the BMAT Thalassocracy? I am not seeing these people. Uh, let's have a look at species. Uh, no, wait, hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. No, show all species. Galaxy species, here we go. Uh, Bouvadons. Dabulons. I didn't realize we had Dabulons. That's quite funny. Mysterians, Haspals, Istran, Jackley. Well, I don't know where this BMAT lot came from. But if they only had one fleet, we've just beaten it back into small pieces, so I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Some kind of event species might have just wiped them out in one go. I mean, that's that's what you get, really. Right, are we are we uh, back to bombarding this place now? Uh, it's really annoying. I can't get rid of these guys in one fell swoop. I have to just like chip away at their planet. It's kind of annoying. They got harangued by the scourge by accident. I mean, maybe. Okay, my economy is probably in tatters. Uh, let's be honest. Still one ship left. But providing these guys providing these assholes still have a, a a planet, I can't actually get rid of them, which is really annoying. Yeah. We always succumb you with our superior technology of space travel. Yeah, kaboom. Yeah, exactly. Um hmm. Man, I may have to have a, a quick break and go grab a coffee or something. Because uh, my dad's, uh, dad's come in. I need to catch up with him on the events of the day as well. So that actually might be a... a... I am flagging a bit today. I'll be brutally honest with you. I may need to go and recharge myself for a little bit. Right. Um. Oh, man. Yeah, that's really annoying. So I can't actually... I can't get rid of these guys. I, okay, I mean, the devastate... Right, so I'm guessing when Devastation gets to 100, uh, everyone dies, I'm guessing. Or 25%, apparently. Okay, cool. We'll just we'll just keep that going there. That seems like a good idea. Just bomb the crap out of it. Oh, no, because they've got... Oh, shit, they've got another one over here. Or have they? I don't know what's going on. How are they still producing, like... Is there another planet here? I don't know how they're still creating stuff. It's so annoying. Right, I need... I need... What was it? 
Didn't I try and make a fleet out of Corvettes the other day? And utterly failed. These are all Corvettes. Construction complete. Uh, Corvettes and battle cruisers. Okay. Uh, oh, that's actually a big. That's a chunk fleet. Actually, right. We can make use of that. Ah, uh, no. You would have thought so, but apparently that does matter. Um. Also, I don't know where my where that fleet went. The all Corvette Corvette fleet Chevrolet. <laughs> I don't actually think that is uh, a, a full Corvette fleet. Oh no, that's um, that's the Pilgrims. Is that the Pilgrims or is that somebody else? Oh god, we've got the Pilgrims as well. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, yes. Okay, we can do multiple. We can do multiple screw ups here. This this would be this would be great. Uh, literally, I've just misplaced that fleet. I just clicked on. That was the Pilgrims. That wasn't the one I just told to move. Where's the one I just told to move? They had a gateway. Ah, there it is. Found it. No, that's our clan's Pilgrims as well. I'm so confused! If you have one unit of standard soldiers in the war form army, they won't land. I don't think I did, but they've... They suffered an unfortunate accident. Um... Cybrex, 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 Cybrex. No, these these are all Cybrex, and it, I bet you it still won't let me. I'll try, but I bet you it won't let me. Nope, cannot land armies on an uninhabitable planet. Um, so yeah, that that, that don't work. I don't know why it don't work. But it don't. Right, okay. I'm going to put a save in here. Yeah, you'd think it would work, but it doesn't. Right, I desperately need to go make myself a coffee. I'm going to catch up with my dad, because uh, he had his appointment today, which I haven't managed to speak to him about yet. Uh, so forth, due to poor planning uh, of the universe. So, uh, I should be back in about 10 minutes or so, so, uh, see you in a short while. Alright, sorry about that. I felt that was a, uh, a good moment. I am in dire need of some brain fuel. Okay, just got an ad for weed killer in a game where we're killing bugs. Sounds about right! Strange are the ways of the Twitch ads. Uh, most assuredly. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, yes, there's rising unemployment. There's always rising unemployment. This is fine. God, we need to just stamp this lot out. It's so annoying! I want them gone! Make planet go away. Okay, this is good. 20... 29%? 30%? Okay, there's still only... Yeah, we'll get there in a minute. And we'll get there in a minute. Okay, there's only one pop here. We should be able to get rid of these guys. It should work. We're just going to have to destroy the whole place. I think we might do. They're in the walls. Yeah, probably. Okay. Gateway site ready. Hey! Which was here, I believe. Uh, yep, there we go. And that gives us a nice little toehold um, on this side of the galaxy, which is hilarious. Which I'm sure won't piss off the uh, fire tribes at all. Bastards are so difficult to pin down. God damn it. I can't kill the planets quick enough. 
And this is the... the, the why is this still a thing? Oh, because there's an invasion fleet there, okay. No one can afford to get pissy when existential annihilation is on the light horizon, exactly. System survey complete. Um, ooh. That's another planet I could add to my, uh, add to my domain if I really wanted to. So I imagine if left unchecked, these guys would just kick off again. Oh! Uh, Duke Bruce Mogul, son of Roach, served the Empire for 151 years. Retired at the age of 181. Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you can't really uh, accuse me of being the best run empire in the universe. <laughs> We're at war. Your problems don't matter. Go away. Yeah. Oh, for God's sakes. I promise I will get back to my empire once this is fixed. Come on, go pilgrims, go! Crush the bugs! No, wait, this are they still- wait, this doesn't make any sense. Are they still- they're still generating constructor fleets here somehow. How are they doing that? That's perplexing. I don't know how they're still generating stuff here. Generating stuff here makes sense. Generating it there, I don't know how they're doing it. Hostile fleet engaged. Martin Mogul, son of Bruce. Okay, I think I forgot your other redemption as well, actually. Hold on. Uh okay. Um oh wow. Okay. You got you got an option of being a peacock, uh, a hamsterian, a piggy, or a lizard. What a, what a spread. Okay. Kreb, son of Naga. Okay, so he is now officially... What was the name? Martin Mogul, son of Bruce. Nice. Uh, I suppose we really should put him to work. Actually, we've got seven officials. We should put him to work. Um, let's have a look at our uh, contacts and diplomacy and stuff. Uh, let's sort by reaction. Okay, the Red Thaler and Fire Tribes are actually in positive, uh, positive attitude towards us. This could be funny. They are actually friendly. We're gonna use. Oh no! Hang on. Uh, it's envoys, not officials. Derp. Okay, uh, let's, let's redirect one of those. Well, uh, thanks for the hydrates. The heir to the Empire? I'm sure he was doing something. Uh, sorry guys, you're gonna have to forgive me, I'm a little adrift today. Uh, that's the Emperor. Where did he go? Did he die? Oh no, hang on. I'm 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 actually baffled now. And the fleet name Wrath of the Hamsters. Yes. Oh excellent. Okay, alright, hang on, I've got to find one first. I've got to find an eligible one. Uh that one's having a fight. I can't rename that one. Where's a good one? Where's the where's the heaviest hitting one we've got here? 25, 30, 56. There you go, that'll do. Hey, Real Castle Gaming, how's it going? Okay, uh, I best find... Right, I need to see if I can actually... I've actually built that Corvette fleet. I'm sure I was building one. In fact, there it is, I think. Is that all Corvettes? Yes! Here we go. Right, now this is what uh, uh, 
Roach Mogul was talking about. What did he call it? The, it was the Chevrolet? The Chevrolet fleet, wasn't it? Uh, was it something like that? We'll, we'll, get, we'll get back to that. Brains. Uh, I have the VR now. Oh, excellent. Right. That could come in handy. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that into play actually. Uh, let me give you a shout out quick. We're there for a second there. I'm a little bit of the rowdy edge today, to be honest. But uh, but not too bad otherwise. Ah, oh, so you've not got VR eye racing. God, doesn't that make you feel slightly queasy? I remember I tried uh, I tried watching uh, 3D television once. It made my eyes go funny. It made my brain hurt. Many things make my brain hurt. Let's face it. Uh, okay, yeah, that's Hostile coming in. Engaged. Yep, that good. Blew that away. Right. Okay, I think we have. System survey complete. We have things under control. Food, water helps. <laughs> that's true. No, I don't, I don't get on well with, like, the, the stuff that messes with my visuals, I, I don't get on well. Uh, right, how buggered is this colony? Still has a population at 1, 55% devastation. Jesus Christ. Let's just keep going. There's no hope for the place. Uh, oh, the Jackley consciousness complete destruction of their gateway in the, uh, in the YAR system? Oh, cool. That means I can use that one as well. Nice. We oh wow, well, the Jackley have just taken over everything again, which is which is fine. That's that's okay. Oh, the poor fire tribes, they've been chopped in half. I mean, quite literally, to be honest. Can I enter that and get rid of that? I think I can. If I can get rid of that invasion fleet, we should be good. I don't actually quite know what it's doing there, to be honest. Hostile fleet engaged. Briefly. Kaboom. Yep, there you go. Handled. Right. Come on, how badly knackered is this planet by now? 62%? How much devastation does it take? Construction complete. The really funny thing is, we can actually uh, terraform tomb worlds, I've discovered. Now the fire tribes know how you felt. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Oh, that makes sense. I don't think they have... I think that's the only planet they've got. Let's have a look at the situation log. I'm sure that'll tell me. Uh, Infested Worlds 2. Where's the second one, then? That's awkward. Uh, it's not here, is it? Because they wouldn't have it otherwise. No, that's is trans. No, that's okay. Where the hell's the last one then? Oh, that's a good point, actually. Uh, it begins with a P, doesn't it? Prithorians... Prithorians. There we go. Uh... Oh, that's a galaxy... Spe yeah, galaxy species. Zero pops of Prithorian living on zero planets in our galaxy. That's not entirely true. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, camera button. Uh... Species has an unknown homeworld. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Unless it's here. Nope. I'm, I'm confused now. Who's that? The Saiban High Kingdom. Guys, you are not going to want this bit of space. It's crawling with bugs at the moment, honestly. A 
nebula system. Oh, that's a f wait. Hostile fleet. Where? Good question. I mean, I don't know. All this is still Fire Tribe's territory. I legit don't know. Or is it here? No, that doesn't appear to have anyone in it. Tem. Where is... Oh, Tem, there. Oh! Unsurveyed. Okay, then. Let's get uh, crazy. Oh, wait, hang on. Experimental subspace navigation fleet stance cannot be evasive. Oh, okay. Uh... Magic? Oh, they got lost. Oh no, returns next year. Oh, oh well, whoops. Unanimous uh, vote war declaration. Well, well, that went faster than. God damn it! <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to actually vote on that one. I didn't even see what it was about. It was there and then it was gone. No idea what that was. Never mind, it vanished. Uh, don't even know what I was voting on. President declares war. What has he declared war on? Uh, nobody. I don't think. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, vote to change. President decides war declaration conceded. Uh, succeeded. So, I, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I know not. Right, how bugger is this planet? I wish inquiring minds wish to know. Eighty-four percent population. Population devastation. Right, I wanted a... Oh, yeah, I was... Right, I tried to send uh, a, a science complete. science ship through subspace and I lost it. Which is slightly embarrassing. Um, I might have to go get another one. Oh, no, wait, hang on. It was here, wasn't it? Can declare war without vote. Oh! Well, too late now. <laughs> what if I can repeal that one? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, can't survey. Oh, it requires a scientist. Of course it does. Um, let's have a human. Why not? It'll be funny. Or a whatever the hell you are. Custom AI assistant. Yeah, sure, why not? Right, survey that damn system. Uh, yeah, where are we? Okay, here we are. War declaration. Right, uh... Can't change laws in this uh, category for God knows how long. Right, okay. I should probably have a look at these at some point. What have we got here? Fleet contribution low. Succession type strongest. And we start losing cohesion. Okay, succession term that much. Where is the only leader? Subject to join no. Weight equal diplomatic. War declaration. Okay, we, we, we haven't got a... We can't actually do much about that. You'd never lose the presidency. Yes, but I would the it would start losing cohesion. 
How much cohesion do we get? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's fine. It'll be okay, probably. Well, I don't want my federation to fall apart because uh, that would be hilarious at this point. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, that's a science vessel. I was like, has someone just stole it? Ah, Delnick Colony, Barren World, Devastation 100%. Hey! Right. Um. Hmm. They're not dead yet, though. <laughs> They're not dead yet. They still seem to be surprisingly leery. Meanwhile, the Jackley are just stealing everything. Um. I mean, I could just fly into this system and see what's there, frankly. It'll take me a little while. Wait, do they still exist? Yeah, they're still around. Ah, Infested Worlds 1. Infested worlds cleanse what? Yeah, there's a there's a world somewhere I don't see, I can't see, which I bet you is probably here. Bring out your dead. Yeah. Migration treaty broken. Oh, that's fine. Uh, galaxy mode. It was still saying zero. So there's still there's still an infested world somewhere. I just don't know where it is. It must be here. Construction complete. All round here. Ah, unsurveyed system. There's another unsurveyed system here. Oh no, wait. We just we were just there. So that's nonsense. This is where we find out this. Well, I don't think there's a fleet here. Let's hope there isn't. That could be embarrassing. <laughs> I should probably start nicking some of this territory, considering that's what everyone else is doing. Oh, that's unsurveyed. Right, I need another science vessel. Jesus Christ. Uh. You, you're not doing anything. Cause a scientist, you're not wrong. Everyone is just so much better at grabbing land than I am, it's kind of funny. It's a feature, not a bug. Hey, I see what you did there. It's got to be one of these. Reti, son of Gitu. Okay. Child of the age of 188. Good innings. And then we're really, really going to have to have a look at the uh, economy somewhat. Oh, wow. Our uh, naval capacity has dropped for some reason. Why is that? Why has our naval capacity dropped? That's odd. Huh. That's awkward. Are you missing councillors and government? Oh, yep. Uh, was there somebody who gave us extra like naval capacity? I think there might have been. Uh, that's awkward. What have we got here? Military fleet, 
uh, leader fleet. Daily hull regen? That sounds good. Let's have some of that. Oh, yeah, there you go. That'll do it. That'll do it. Scourge in the L cluster. Uh, what's the L cluster? Doesn't have the DLC that adds L cluster. Oh, okay. Oh, it's arrived. Now I've got two science vessels over here. That's embarrassing. Oh, well. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of places they could have hidden over here. Right, let's get the old uh, let's get the old ass kicking fleet over there and see what happens. Because nothing has popped up over here. So oh what ah bastards! There's another hostile fleet. Is it this one? Wait a second, what is going on? Okay. But there's nothing here. That's four of their colony ships just appeared. Right, where's my Corvette fleet? Hunt those motherfuckers down, please. Right, I'm I'm baffled as to why these keep popping up. It's the colonizers that keep them alive. Okay, right. Well, hopefully we'll be able to deal with that in a second. God damn, Beth. And this is why we wanted this zippy, uh, zippy Corvette fleet, so we could do stuff like this. But then they went there a second ago, so I'm slightly confused as to why... Yeah, that's weird. The Chevrolet fleet should deal with them. Stop with a shoe, indeed. No, Jackley, what are you doing? No, they might colonize this. Let's get rid of them. God damn it, Jackley doing half a job. Right. Will we kill them, or will they just knob off? Okay. I'm assuming we killed them. It's hard to say. Oh god, I'm really gonna have to look at the economy fairly soon. I'm baffled. So is this just the state they end up in, is that you have to just keep flattening it, or is there a way to ultimately completely destroy them? Because so far, I've been at this for an hour and a half, and I've had difficulties getting rid of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, Likely have a planet. They must have a planet. Okay. I reckon system it's... System survey complete. Okay. We completed the system survey? Survey? There is nothing here. Oh no, it still says unsurveyed system. Uh, that was here. Okay, right, we can nick that. Unless somebody else gets there first. Uh, oh no, it's not fully surveyed. Okay. Uh, new gateway in the Fullinger system. Excellent. Good. We now have uh, rapid deployment. That's good. I like that. That uh, makes me happy. Come on, you little bug bastards. Where are you hiding? It's got to be here somewhere. They couldn't have got, like, a, a four colony ships here. That's unclaimed. That's unclaimed. The only place that's unsurveyed 
It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be here. That doesn't help. I've got it on pause. That never helps. There can't be that many places left to hide. They're starting to bug you. Yeah. Planets can still be in unclaimed systems. Yes, but if they had a planet, it would show up as their territory, I would have thought. I mean, this, this, this place is huge, so they might be in here somewhere, but I would have thought I would have noticed by now. That's barren. Look at each system via the system view. I mean, unless they, they can't be in here, can they? Because that's a fire tribes thing. Unless they're in here. Uh. System survey complete. Right, system survey complete. That's good. Has battle star commonality wishes to give the human star hegemony association status with the federation. Sure. Why not? Right, nothing here. Zip and indeed doodah. Maybe it's here. Where the colony fleet popped up, which was, which was here. But there's nothing. And the Jackley just stole that, but that's okay. I just want to be rid of them. Wayla. Uh, where's that? Oh, there. Could be. Oh, I was just there, wasn't I? Wasn't that where I just was? Maybe it wasn't. Yes, it's unemployment, I know. It says Intel full. Ah, uh, they might have nicked it, I suppose. It's really annoying, there's one planet and I don't know which one it is. That's the Antherians. Research complete. Right. No, nah, gas giant, baron, 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 frozen, gas giant, frozen, toxic, baron. I don't see anything. Tracks near your system has uh, AI fleets doing something weird. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's right there. How the fuck did I miss that? What a numpty. What a numpty. Right. They are actually bombarding it, so uh, let's 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 help them along with that. Yeah, there you go. That makes sense. God damn it. I wanted to have that system too! Yeah, I was trying to get you to survey the system. We're going to lose that one. We're going to lose that one, but that's okay. Tango spotted nukes incoming, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get there. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I'm going to try and get in on this action.
system survey complete. Okay, right, quick, climb the system. Oh, it's not. It just says system survey complete. Oh no, it says unsurveyed, okay. Where are you guys going? Oh, there's a gateway. Of course there's a gateway, I knew that. Time for a big can of insect repellent. Yeah, or a, a yeah, significantly high dose of orbital bombardment should do it. And let's face it, no one's going to want that afterwards. Yes, I know. Come on, get to the gateway. There we go. They will shit themselves once my giant fleet turns up in there. Okay, it, it, this is a race to see who gets this first. Am I still surveying it? Wait, has anyone built... No one's built a space station here. Okay. So it's still unsurveyed. How is it still unsurveyed? No, I told you to survey the fucking thing. There you go. Jesus Christ. Oh wait, hang on, there's a, there's a, oh no, that's the locking mechanists, okay. Yes, survey the place where we bother- <laughs> System survey complete. Oh, okay, system survey complete, was that us? Yes, right, build a station. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Well, what does it keep Hostile saying? It's- fleet engaged. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's because of the planet. Um, no, it still says unsurveyed. Survey system. No, it's my science ship. My science ship is being absolutely spoony. System survey complete. Right. Uns. It still says unsurveyed. Oh, because of the bug planet. Right. I can't survey the bug planet because it's covered in bugs. Right. Yeah, would be would be a little difficult to, to survey a planet. Um, while it's covered in bugs. Has everyone else just ran away? Everyone else has run away. They're like, nope, that's your problem now. <laughs> that still doesn't seem to be moving very quickly. Have I still utterly failed to order them to, to bombard the planet? They are bombing at the moment. It doesn't seem to be moving it very quickly, though. Oh, 33%. Okay, now it's 34%. That's more like it. You think with all the uh, nifty weapons we have... Right, okay, so we should probably give up on that system for now and maybe nick someone else's. Even though if that somebody else takes that, we can't actually leave here, which would be awkward. Well, we could, actually. We could go the long way around. So maybe I should just start stealing things. Why not? Try to make the conclave not collapse. Yeah, I should probably I should probably check my uh, economy. Such it as it is. Okay. Uh, swarm strikers. Cloned, militarized... Wait, what? Oh, we can have we can have our own swarmers. Okay, that's fine. No, look, there's another colony ship. How? 
one, two, three, four, five. There's four colony ships just manifested out of nowhere. I there's something not right about that. Change the strength of your bombardment stance. Uh Oh, orbital bombardment set to selective. Ah. Indiscriminate! Indiscriminate orbital bombardment. And then no one's going to want the planet. There we go. can't spawn over that planet because of the enemy ships. Yeah, it's kind of awkward, though. Alright, if they're going to continue to spawn there, I'll just send the Corvette fleet over there and babysit on it. Forty percent. I still don't think my lot are actually bombarding it. I don't think there's enough room. This is aggressive stance. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, there we go. There we go. I knew that wasn't working. That'll probably speed it up a bit. Hostile fleet engaged. Right, smoosh that. Oh! Infested world! Son of a bitch! God damn it. Who's the That's Admiral of the Chevrolet <laughs> fleet? Uh, nobody. Uh, do we do we want it to be one of your lot? Uncolonized infested world. I have no idea. Uh, actually, we do have some spare commander slots, actually. That's quite funny. Spavu. Tamaku. Oh, uh, mm. oh, okay. Roach Mogul, you're going to have to pick between peacocks, uh, this looking guy, or a pig. Peacocks, eagles, or pigs? <laughs> That's your options. Pig, roger that. Chevy Chase. Sure, sure. Chevy Chase and a Chevrolet. Love it. Right. Indiscriminate. That's going to take a while. I guess they must have been... They, they. I guess every time they try and colonize, I turn up and shoot them. I guess that's, that's, the, that's what was happening. 50%. That is not going up as fast as it should do. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. God, these guys are an absolute pain. Right, okay, we should probably look at our economy, so bear, bear with me on this one, because, dear God, this is going to be a nightmare. Right. Uh, oh, God. Look, honestly, when we do this next time around, this many planets is giving me a massive migraine. Honestly. Oh, my word. Okay, so, what are we, what's our major issues here? Uh, no auto-migration destination. Right, now, how do we fix this? Uh, was it a trade? Trade something? Um, something to do with the space station, isn't it? Who are this lot? What's the Haspalve? Okay. I've just noticed that there's a shit ton of, uh... That's got me worried. If the Jackley declared war on us, that would be really funny. Because we wouldn't be able to defend ourselves here and they'd steal my capital, which would be very, very upsetting. Um, is it the space station? Starbase buildings. Is it, uh, what was it? Transit hub. That helps fix that, doesn't it? Right, let's have a look-see. Okay, so... System Capital Complex. 
housing amenities uh that that looks like a good idea let's do that uh administrative park uh don't necessarily think that's a oh hollow theaters hyper entertainment forums duelists eh why not commercial zones megaplexes things like that we've got any blockers here Right, okay. The, the Great Wheel is doing okay. That's 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 perfectly okay. Right, Wheelia. Um, what's your problem? Same thing. No migration destination. And apparently I can't build a transit hub because... It isn't a solar system and the number of transit hubs in the system is less than one. So does that mean we've already got one somewhere? Oh, it's the same place. It's the great... Wait, what? No. What? Oh my god, honestly. Uh, crew quarters. Not too bothered about that. Uh, transit hub? There we go. How to habitate... Habitat... Uh... Uninhabitable worlds. Um... Yeah, well, we can kind of do that already. We literally... Uh, where are we? Uh, Trey Bullocks was actually a... Uh, oh, we actually haven't done that at all yet. Uh, Trey Bullocks was actually, unfortunately, accidentally nuclear bombarded to death. And we actually fixed it. So, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Look at the number of species we've got. Okay, I am definitely, the next time around, I am taking that mod that gives you, um, uh, that consolidates all the robot types, because this is, this is ridiculous. Um, Valert. What, what the hell is a Valert, and why do I have one? I t sometimes you just have these species pop up, and I've got no idea where the hell, the, where they came from. It's amazing. Where are my hamsters? Oh, there they are. Trey Bollocks Prime. Sounds good. Okay, right. Uh, uh, yeah, to be honest, the red is the unemployment for the most part. So it's, it's not as bad as it looks. That's pretty bad. Uh... Okay, this is an outpost because we can't support and we can't support any more star bases. Uh, can we create any more jobs? That's the next question. That's why I don't do a lot of migration packs. That's true because obviously, oh yes, look, we have human, ultra Urian, is trying and human. That's that's why. Okay, so we need to find. Oh wait, I can build more stuff. Holy crap! Just, just realised that. That's, that's an idea. Oh, it's a factory world and I haven't built any mines. That, that's fine. Civilian industries? Uh, I want extra jobs. Artisan jobs. Yes, good. Accidentally just upgraded that, but that's okay. Uh, energy nexus? Uh, more jobs. Yay. Yes, and also you have to bear in mind what happened was... Uh, when the Scourge attacked, um, a ton of the Fire Tribes uh, fled, and we ended up with a shit ton of refugees. So that's probably why it's it's not quite working out. But this should be fine, to be honest. That's three unemployment. I think that alone just created what five jobs. So that should that should work out. Right, Gaia. That's another one. Okay, that has nine unemployment. That's not so good. Uh that's why they're not very happy. That's fair. Um Some fled, most were terminated. Yeah, it's true. Oh, the eclipse is happening, is it? No, hang on. Yes, I was gonna say, wait, it's dark outside, but I'm in the UK. That's why. Derp. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Um, right, we have nine unemployment. Yes. Evan Dari? Wasari? 
Wow, okay. Not wasabi, as I nearly called that. Right, we need, uh, I think we need a transit hub here as well. Dear God. Can we have one? Ah, uh, we can. Good. Uh, right, where were we? Gaia. Right. The Urinal. Let's go there. 14 unemployment. 28% crime. Not, not great. Uh, that's even, uh, yeah, that's not good. Um, okay, we probably need to, hmm. I want my money back. Wait, I didn't pay anything. Changing stories. Charging money for staking out bits of land to watch the eclipse. That's kind of sad. That, that, that often happens here, is that, um, uh, Whenever there's anything interesting in the sky, it usually gets, like, it just goes grey. Uh, right, what am I doing? I was going to replace this with something. Handle the crime. Right, I'm going to put a precinct in, because... Crime is not great. Um, then we need to see if we can put another transit hub in, which we can't, because I'd have to upgrade it to a starport, which I can't actually support right now. Uh, okay. Hmm. Bugger. Oh, hang on. We still got two districts. Okay, hang on. Let's uh, fix that. Uh, got any blockers? Oh, god, god. Oh no, no. That's planetary features. That's all good. Uh, help. How do I fix fourteen unemployment when I can't send anyone anywhere? <laughs> that's a problem. Food place for a hollow place. Uh, what, this one? Uh, hollow theatres. Wait. Duelists? Oh, wow, we have duelists. I forgot about that. Uh. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. I don't quite know how we're going to handle that. Hmm. Bulgar. Right, new Turbac. What's going on here? Uh, three unemployment. That's an easy fix. Uh, four percent crime. That's not too bad. Uh, still got a couple of districts to do. Lots of small colonies are just faff. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I didn't do any mining here, but that's okay. Right, uh, more planetary capitals. Uh, one unemployment, that is fine. That is that is perfectly okay. That's not so bad. Okay. Uh, nine worker unemployment. That's not great. Um... Also, no transit hub, I'm guessing. Uh, booger. I'll do that yet. It's time to duel. <laughs> du -du 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 duel. Uh, what's going on here? Is there anything I've missed? Advanced Xeno Studies. Uh, we are in breach of this resolution. Well, in which case, uh, we'd best uh, oppose that one then. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah. Uh, right. New Turbac. Again, three unemployment. That ain't so bad. Uh, that'll probably fix itself fairly soon, so that's not too shabby. Uh, uh you were on Prime. That's one unemployment again. That's not too bad. Oh, I already did that one. And that one. Right. Uh, two unemployment again. Not a big deal. Yeah, I don't think I really got into habitats. I think we have the ability to build habitats. I just never got to it. <laughs> I, th I think that's actually within my capability to do. I just don't think I got around to it. Uh, three unemployment. Uh, can't... 
number of sapient pops is greater than or equal to 50. Oh, there's nobody here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um... Uh, oh. Can I clear anything? Nope. Can't clear volcanoes, apparently. Uh, crikey. What else should we put in here? Can we do moat mines? Moat mines a thing? No, we can't do that here. Ugh. What's a bioreactor? I don't even know what that does. Energy credits from farmers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, it brings jobs? I don't know. Uh, oh, clerk jobs. Clerk jobs and something else. Autogathon monument? We haven't got one of those already. Fuck it, that'll do. Oh, this is going to take some time. Right, okay. Uh, two unemployment. Again, not the end of the world. Haven't actually built all the districts here, which is probably why. Right, okay. Orc Central. Uh, for unemployment, that is fair. Uh, can clear those, can clear those, and clear those. Space game called Angels for First. Space combat, ground vehicles, on foot, pew pew. Uh, interesting. Oh, Angels Fall First. Yeah, there's that, uh, Spaceborn 2 game. I, I think I mentioned the other day. Um, it's literally one guy, but it's basically, uh, a lot like Starfield. It's a little bit jank, I think, but it's, it's literally one guy and it, it, he, he's got like lots of space exploration and jumping things between there. It's kind of nuts. It's been early access in 2015. Oh, okay. Not really early anymore. That, that is true. Right. We could replace the precinct with something because the crime has been handled. Uh, mostly. Uh, do we have a hollow theatre? We don't. Let's have a hollow theatre. Um, it's energy grid, nexus, civilian industries? One of those. Uh, that should probably handle that. Oh my word. This has not been touched in forever. As it turns out. <laughs> This would explain why there's plenty of crime and unemployment, because I literally haven't touched this planet since we took it. Because this dates back all the way to when we were fighting the Rosari, and it's been lamenting there ever since. Yeah, there's too many planets. Too many planets make brain hurt, yeah. Uh, let's clear all the- actually no, let's build all the nonsense. It doesn't have to be as few as possible, it just has to be slightly more manageable than this. Because this is just absolute nuts. Um, exotic gas refineries? Turn minerals into exotic gases. Wait, the place doesn't provide any minerals, so that ain't gonna work. Um, planetary shield generator? Orbital bombardment damage, minus 50. I mean, that would be handy if someone was actually attacking us, but they're not. I mean, research labs, you can't go wrong with those, really. Resource silos, why not? What's an agri, agri world? Right, I take that back. Shit. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Wait. Maybe we should build some more food stuff. Specs players to either micromanage it or delete the entire sectors. Yeah, I suppose. What's this planet for? Do they vote? Give me a minute, I'll get back to it, yeah. Uh, right, so... Hydroponics? Yeah, put a couple of hydroponics in there. We'll put a couple of hollow things in there as well. I don't know, I'm just hitting buttons at random at this point because there's too many planets! Ah. Right, nine unemployment. Yeah, that's 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 not ideal. Uh, that's because again, I haven't built anything here at all. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a fair comment. 
Uh, where are we? Uh, I've, I've actually lost where we were. Oh my god, we're not even halfway down. Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, I might come back to this. I might finish off. Can I? Can I finish off? Where are we? Right, I'm going to finish off this sector and then I go back and do something different because this is making my brain hurt now. Uh, that's over to System Capital Complex. That's good. Oh, wait, no, I've already done that one. Okay. Um, two unemployment. Again, I can't see that being a big problem. That could be turned into literally anything else. Uh... This, this planet's doing okay for itself, relatively speaking, to be honest. Uh, more research labs, why not? Right. Uh, 11 unemployment. Yes, again, because I haven't actually done much with this at all. Um, probably lucky that uh, friggin' crime hasn't actually happened here. Um, I need district plans or capital. Uh, five theaters. I already put luxury residences. No, I didn't put luxury residences in. Resident residences. I am. I am forgetting how the talk works. How do talk work? Right. Okay. I've done half of it. There is this much left. Dear God, I may have to look at that offline because Christ. That's a lot. Right, back to bug stomping. Dear God. Sweet homunculus Jesus. Right, uh... Are we, are we, are we still there? Still at 52. We're getting there. We're getting there. What were they building there? Synthetic crystal? Hyper entertainment forums. I mean, how do you keep a bug entertained? That's a good question. This will take forever, because I've only got one fleet. Oh, wait, is it not bombarding it? Yeah, go, go bombard. Yay. Wait, can we not bombard a planet if it doesn't have any populace? I think that might be the case. Huh. Well, that's a problem. I mean, it's infested, but it doesn't have anything on it. Force change it. How would I do that? No, they're just, they're just not doing it. So do they just perpetually pop up from here? Maybe they do. I don't know. Construction complete. Uh, let me see if I can actually claim it. I can actually build a star base there. That's kind of funny. Not really sure how that works, building a star base on an infected planet, but you know. Oh god, what's happening here? Uh, star base construction... What? Oh, that's the trade, uh, that's the trade things I was building, if that makes sense. Sixty-eight! We're picking up, we're picking up. Don't think it's supposed to be uncolonized. Yeah, I wonder if it's a weird little, uh... I'm hoping once this planet goes, um... That's not gonna be a problem. Right, now it says hostile fleet engaged. Right, hold, pause. Uh, Super Ag Colony. I will now pay attention to these when they pop up. For unemployment. Okay, we can fix that. Um, uh, stronghold? Fortress? I don't know. Uh, resource silos? It's only four unemployment. It could be worse. Ministry of Production. There's all these buildings we've unlocked. I have no idea what any of them do. <laughs> That's great. 
An autochathon? Autochathon. 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 Motherfucker. I don't know. I, I'm just making stuff up now. Duelist jobs. You can just imagine that. What's your job? Duelist. Yeah, I wonder if I've, I wonder if I've managed to bug it. Pardon the pun. Incoming transmission. Oh, hello. Who's talking at me? Establish. Wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a this is a case of history repeating itself, ladies and gentlemen. The Wasari have rebelled against the Uvazavanians. And these guys are spiritualist militarists, and they want to be my friends. Um, sure. So, what's happened over there? Oh, the, the Athelan conquerors have uh, started to expand again. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, amusingly, they've actually expanded right where my... Uh, Oh, I, I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing there, you xenophobic little bastards. Um, I think you are... Oh, hello. Reinforced fleet. Shit tons of everything. Sure. Let's do that. They are, they are attempting to cut me off. And I imagine the next thing that will happen is uh, they will probably declare war and try and uh, invade me through the wormhole, which would be very bad. Right, hang on, let's have a quick look. So where were they? The something... Oh, look at that! Oh, this... Oh, my God. This is just insanity. Right, so... The pig people have rebelled against the uh, Uversavanians and have now declared themselves independent. Okay, that's just... Oh dear god, it just doesn't end. What's this? Aggressive observation? The Inarian Society. Okay, there's a bunch of species I don't actually realise existed that are still floating around. God, it's all happening. It's all just going wrong. Right, have we... Well, actually, it's going right for us. 72%? Nearly there. Wait, what's that? That's a lock and combine, okay. Come on, bug menace. Uh borders opened. Uh oh Borders are open to the Wasari okay, let's open our borders to the Wasarians, because why not? More friends is always good. Uh, right, where are we? Uh... Da -da -da -da. Wasarians, Wasarians, here we go. Honor-bound warriors! They are... They are monk pigs! Oh, pig monks. I'm not really sure which way around, but, um... Yeah, okay. Uh... Oh, no, they... they oh, oh, okay, we've, we've mutually opened our borders. Oh, okay, that's fine then, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming so. Cordial, improving. Probably because we are, like, militarist and they, they, they like us. Okay, okay, cool. That works for me. Um, Gang Wars on you were on Prime. Oh, God. Let's have a look over there. Didn't I just build them a precinct? Prime. Bloody hell. Do you have a precinct on the build? No, you don't. How did that happen? That was not that bad last time I looked. God damn. Uh, okay, wait, can we fit another one? God damn it. Well, actually, the planetary capital's almost there anyway. Good stuff. Bloods and crypts in space, yeah. This map is just absolutely on fire at the moment. It's just all over the place. Oh, unemployment on Turkab. Right, okay, let's have a quick look at that. 16! You are not incorrect. Holy fuck. Uh, what am I 
was that now? Cyborgs? What is that? Yeah, I guess. Uh, probably don't need a precinct anymore. Um, research? Yeah, why not? Robot assembly plants. I mean, okay, sure. Uh, do you have a migratory? No, you can't because we can't build one of those. I mean, we could. It would just make things worse, but never mind. Will the Hamsterian Conclave survive the crime wave? Yeah, we, we beat the galactic... Uh, d beat the galactic uh, crisis only to... Um, uh, wait, what? The Hasbalve are leading our bloody posse. When did that happen? Oh, because they're part of it. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Well, goddamn. Oh, XP. Wait. Oh, I thought that said minus 4,000. I was like, ah, oh, no, this is fine. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's no, locking mechanism again. Okay. 80%? Come on! Why do I feel it, it actually advances the, the less I look at it? <laughs> Might have something to do with it. Right, I am building a space station in Bug Central to see what happens. Uh, rising unemployment? Yeah, okay, god. Yep, and... Yeah, I know, I just fixed all that. I just tried to fix all of that, god damn it. Look, I'm working on it. Alright, maybe I should build the, the jobs before I get rid of the civilian... The civilian wildlife... The dangerous world. I mean, that one's nearly finished, actually. See, now it's actually it's catching me up now, which is kind of awkward. Uh, tithe of the soulless. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we're opposing that one, but that, that doesn't matter too much. Right. Okay. Chaos reigns with an iron fist. Also bees. Uh. Oh, rip again. Zartan wills it! <laughs> right, that's another uh, giant fleet of death we've got um, floating around here. Yep, there you go, it's 65,000 military. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I'm going to put somebody in charge of that. Um, six out of seven, okay. Tumaku! What do you do? Planet Governor, Sector Governor? No. Heavy hitter. Military, oh, hull points, uh, dock ship upkeep, ship fire rate, Screaky! We will put you to use, Screaky. Sarklan wills it has got the memetic potential. Yeah, it's just like a friggin' uh, Mandalorian, isn't it? It's like, this is the way I have spoken. Sarklan wills it. I mean, it's just kind of... It's of the same ilk. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that fleet right there, because I have a funny feeling that's going to kick off down there at some point. Which would be a little bit embarrassing. Colonization in progress. Okay, got colonization in progress, that's good. How's this goddamn planet doing? 85%, 86, it's getting there? Soon. God, this bit of space is Lock just cleared. utterly... Bad jaxed. It's just disgusting. Right, are you building? Okay, yep, Ford Starbase. Cool. We want jobs down with the corrupt official officials. Yeah. Construction complete. Give us jobs. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, that's unclaimed. So I mean, we could take that before the Jackley get it. I think the Jackley are already. <laughs> oh, I love it. JCS playful prawn. Oh, love it. I mean, me and the Jackley are okay, so, you know. We should be able to do that. Oh, Breek. Okay, and you're in so much trouble. Yeah, I know, right? What's going on, Breek? Oh, I haven't touched this place. At all. <laughs> you see what I mean? This is like, I'm taking forever to do all this now. I mean, largely because I forgot to do it in the first place, but, you know, that's got something to do with it. Uh, uh, Holy Theatres. I'm going to put a precinct in there just in case they fucking kick off as well. 
Okay. So this is what happens. I mean, look at this. Look at the state of this. It's like somebody ate a bag of skittles and drank too much at the same time, and this is the end result. I mean, it's just god, absolutely cursed. Akmol. They should build a mall in Akmol, and then you'd be the Akmol Mall. And what if they build a very small mall, and that would be the Akmol Small Mall? There you go. I know it's hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Where? Where? Or did it explode quick enough that I didn't see it? It's this bloody planet. Come on, they must be nearly done here, surely. 97, come on! 99! 100! Come on! Yes! Oh, okay, so now it's, that's a barren world, not an, not an inhabitable, uninhabitable one. Right, fuck, can we get over there and nick that, or is that too late? I think somebody else is going to get that. Hopefully it's one of our lot, because if it isn't, that's going to be very awkward. Wait, they don't have any construction ships there. Fuck, where's our nearest construction ship that isn't this one? Actually, no, screw that. Grab that. Change of plan. No, it still says it's not fully surveyed. There's something not quite right here. Oh, because it's that last bloody planet they couldn't survey. Oh, god damn it. This is a mess. If the small mall has a smoke shop, they could sell pool malls. And that would be the Akmal Small Mall Pool Mall. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks, thanks for that. That's uh, not like my noodle at all. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is it. They should be able to survey this thing. Survey this planet. And then with any luck. You see, everyone's buggering System off now. Survey complete. Right. Yeah, it is barren, but this is the thing. I can terraform barren planets. Right, now if that's all of them... How are they still here? We know of zero pops of Prothorin living on zero planets in the galaxy. I'm confused. Uh, Wasabi Prime. I think we were worked on that one. Yes, we did work on that one. That's fine. We're working on it. Oh, okay. Uh, rivalry ended. Okay, that's fine. Terraforming candidate discovered. Yep, that's the that's now a barren thing. Yes, I know all about that and that. Yeah, it's... where is it? Yeah, Zoward is still infested. Oh no, Zoward is... Well, that's the wrong planet. Yeah, look, infested world. Uninhabitable. New Ocphir. But I can't bombard it. Click one, two. Click half? I uh, don't understand uh, what you mean there, math. I don't understand maths either, no. Because by my reckoning, we should have we should have destroyed these things. But I think I don't think this planet has, pardon the pun, bugged out. This is no valid world to terraform, and this is where the the colonies keep coming from. Oh, the command console. Well, I don't want to cheat. It 
Infested World Zero, Infested Worlds Cleansed Two. Hang on, let me let me advance the let me advance the timeline a little bit here. Oh, we did get that bit. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I think what's happening... Uh, okay, let's have a look at that, yeah. Etris, yeah, okay. Uh, oh god, this is uh, a mess. Oh, it's a research station, okay. Oh my god, they have 13 unemployment. Uh, we probably need to fix that. There we go. I mean, I wonder if it's supposed to work like that, or just... I'm... I'm baffled. Because what's, what's happening is, periodically, these four colony ships manifest from this planet, but there's nothing I can do about this planet, despite the fact I now actually own the system. And this wasn't actually the original planet they came from, either. This is one of the ones they took over. Um, but we're now just camping on it. It's very odd. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you see, I move into orbit, and it, it's it's not bombarding it. It's just like flare. Yeah, right there we go. Look, we actually, god damn it, we actually saw it happen. That just those colony ships just manifested out of nowhere, and now my fleet will take them out like that. Look at the scorch. Apparently, that's all we had to do was sit there and camp the system while they threw colony ships at us, and then uh, we blew them up. Uh, does that mean I win? <laughs> Did I win a prize? Oh, they got into emergency FTL. Oh. So because my fleet was so big, they ran away from it? Right. That makes an awful lot of sense. Okay. Okay, I think we just we just blew them up, didn't we? Spontaneous victory celebrations. Hey, a new age of galactic peace and stability. I mean, probably not. Uh, Prothorian Scourge defeated modifier added for 10 years. Happiness plus 20%. Shit tons of unity. Ends the Scourge of the Void event chain. I won! I blew them up. They are contented. And also, I own most of this system. That's handy. I got a nice little foothold over here. Oh my god, this is a mess. I imagine everyone loves me now. I mean, they should, because, you know, I'm pretty amazing, clearly. Uh, right, I should probably divvy up these fleets a little bit to guard against, you know, the inevitable crazy xenophobe bastards who are probably going to do something terrible to us next. So hang on a minute, let's have a look at the situation log, and have a look at victory, and look at that! On January 1st, 2500, the Hamsterian Empire will win the game. <laughs> That's kind of funny. They must have not had good world to start out and chew on. Well, it's like I said, what happened? They came in here, took out a bunch of stuff here, and very nearly overran us. We just managed to, like, squirt out a bunch of fleets. And we just kicked the shit out of them. Um, which was kind of... You know. And yeah, like I say, I, I didn't set any of the difficulty stuff to... Um... It was just set at default. 
so oddly enough, the Rectala and Fire Tribes have closed their borders. No surprise, but it doesn't matter because we've got a uh, we've got a gate there, which I probably really should reinforce with something. Uh, something a bit more than that, to be honest. Resigned to lose weight, he survived that. Yeah, I I was I was ready for it to go horribly wrong, uh, because they they literally they came up through here. And we kind of turned it around. We we got behind them, um, and sort of managed to to beat them up. So yeah, it it, it came in handy. Oh, there's another unclaimed system down there. Don't mind if I do. Right, what I should probably do is uh, divvy up some of these fleets uh, and go back to see where the the scary pits, the scary bits we can be invaded from. Because, uh, yeah, I think, okay, we got a decent fleet there. That's good, because the Athalans are probably going to kick off at some point. I mean, they've got, what, 37 years to kick off. I'm not sure they're going to do it. I got a big fleet there that nearly numbers in the hundreds, uh, which means they can't get through there either. Um, yeah, I think maybe I should just fortify my borders a bit here. Right, so second star order. Where's another entry point? Uh, Here-ish. Let's go over there. Fix the economy. The economy does need fixing. Uh, I'm gonna leave a pretty decent fleet uh, here because that's a gate system. Uh, except I think I just clicked on the wrong thing, which is kind of funny. Um, uh, right, and there were plenty of Athalans over here still. Yeah, and we've got a little, uh... Oh, wow, okay, the, I think the Jackley have been busy over here. Wait, did I... Have I not closed my borders to these assholes? Hang on a minute. I was so busy. Right, hang on. Uh, no, are we still are we still in a truce with these guys? Yeah, they've closed their borders. Uh, I don't appear to have an option about borders there, which is kind of weird. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, their their fleet power is now back to being equivalent, which is was just kind of fucking terrifying. Uh, right. Okay. So, oh man. Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a there's a nice little spot that needs defending over there. Oh my god! Look at the state of this. Yes. 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 We'll get. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, where did I say it was Ascension's End? There we go, here we are. Yeah, you see, look, they've got these... In oh my god, yeah, their fleets have suddenly become very, very big and scary. We're actually nearing our fleet cap. Um, which is kind of funny. I don't... I wonder if the Fire Tribes are okay with us. I mean, I say okay with us. Where are we? Uh... Da -da -da. They're kind of okay with us. Um, we're improving relations with them, and they're improving relations with us. This is actually quite funny. Uh, they are actually friendly. Largely because they probably know we can knock them into a cocked hat at any point. Out of interest, is there an I win now button in the situation log victory screen? I don't think so.
I mean, I could speed the time up, but then obviously uh, it's entirely possible everything would collapse. <laughs> Blocker cleared. Especially as how utterly banjaxed my colony is. Uh, 2,500. So, like, 37 years. Uh, by my shoddy maths. Right, why are these guys not moving? I could have sworn I've told these guys to move, like, three times. Well, I mean, we could always, we could always. Save there. And I could just speed the time up and see what happens. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind actually getting to the victory screen just on general principles. But I, I, I do see your point. Less than whelmed. Okay, great. Does it literally say, congratulations, you won? Is it like the end of the Chaos Engine? on the Amiga, where literally I had a guy's face saying, the chaos has ended, you will be remembered, and then that's it. <laughs> Game ends. Uh, you are winner. Okay, let's, 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 let's hit the gas. See if we can get to the end of the thing before, uh, before my economy collapses. Feral Prathorians. Uh oh issue a travel advisory. Oh wow, okay. They uh they, they they decided to come back in pretty big numbers. That's quite funny. Well, I mean we could we could put a pin in it if if people are happy with that. I can, I can, I can declare victory here. Now Feral has said, yeah. They probably won't like me very much though, I imagine. Oh, that's actually their system, is it? Okay, how much we got left? Uh, we've got about... Just over an hour? No, hour 20. Yeah. I mean, we could do. I'll tell you what I will do. I'm gonna pop the loo quick, and uh, we could see about uh, starting to build... Uh, season 2, I guess. We'll make a start on. Right, okay, give me a sec. I shall just pop the loo and uh, we'll, we'll see about that uh, momentarily. So, chaotic victory of chaos, apparently. So, that's pretty nifty. <laughs> right, I should be back shortly. All right, we are back. Um, Right, the only slight issue I can think of is that we were thinking about using some mods and stuff. I was kicking around that there was a few mods that I was pondering putting on there, so... I don't know... I suppose we could do a bit of species design, couldn't we? Because the species design shouldn't be affected by mods too much. So we could possibly try and maybe... I don't know, we could redo... We could redo the Hamsterian Empire, because I think I kind of goofed the first time around. Um... And then actually have, like, a proper proper sit down and, and and do stuff stream at some point um yeah might be an idea let's do that should we do that let's do that instead 
The other thing, obviously, there's there's a few mods I've been kicking back and forth, and uh, well, I'm doing BattleTech on Saturday. Um. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh god, I'm so tired. Blah. Okay, let's do that. Let's exit the main menu. Okay, so where do we go from here? Uh, is it new game? Yeah, it's new game. Here we go. Right. Okay. Yeah, may maybe do 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 the, the the rest a different time. Right. Okay. So this is this was my original uh, Hamsterian Empire, which obviously we discovered that being a xenophile and a fanatic militarist wasn't the greatest combo in the world. But we won, so I mean, maybe it wasn't so bad. <laughs> so let's make sure that's switched off, because we're not too fussed about that one. So we have uh, the Swolfin Empire, which is a uh, math slot. That's all functioning now, so that's that's good. That's handled. Um, so that's all working. So they are xenophile pacifist spiritualists, but they're fishers, which is kind of funny. Masterful crafters, extant, extant, extant. Okay, cool. And then we have the, uh, how do we pronounce this? Kiev, uh, Kiruin Empire? Is that how, how we do that? Orbital habitat? Okay. Um, please read my species bio and the leader bio too. Oh, you, have, you can have leader bios? That's quite funny. Right, okay, they are authoritarian fanatic spiritualists. You will love the Jesus, or we will punch you. I <laughs> oh, love it. Okay, right. Vo void dwellers. What do we got here? Millennia ago, Kia was a thriving and beautiful Gaia planet. The planet itself was embedded with a latent psionic force they called the Ember, claiming it was from their star god Kiru. Many Kiani began to learn how to harness the Ember as a source of energy, but this kind of power could not come without a price. As the reckless nature of these diminutive mammals led to greater escalations, they destroyed their home. Oopsie. Hey, Wolf Warrior, how's it going? The exact historical records were lost to time, with the most only known from spoken word or religious teachings passed down for generations. They now travel the voids of space and habitats and ships made from the same ember imbued gems, entirely ignorant of their original sin. They're Fox Eldar. Is that is that what I'm getting there? That they're, they're basically the Eldar but foxes. <laughs> Or am I, am I, am I, am I compacting too much? They're Eldar foxes. I, I like it. Great stuff. Great stuff. Love it. Okay, so what do we reckon? Shall we, uh, make my empire? Because apparently I did a big oopsie when I made my one, so... Should, should we have another go at one? Sounds like Charlemagne convert or die. It was a persuasive stance. Yes, we have the, we have the Swalford Empire. Yes. There, there is the Swalford Empire. Oh wait, hang on. You, you said there was a, there was a leader bio. I don't see the leader bio. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't think I'm seeing that anyway. But yes, we do have the, we do have the Swalford Empire. Go to leader screen. Uh, where that? Oh, edit. Go to leader screen. Uh, ruler? No. Oh, ruler, okay. Uh. Ah! The Kian who consolidated the Koros and Great Dens of the Kiani after a militant coup into solidarity under the Kiruin. Kiruin. A stalwart and devout. Kiruite. I'm gonna. I'm messing these up. Penderm's rise to power was expected, and some may say inevitable. He now seeks to spread the fires of Kiru's ember across the stars. Excellent. All right, let's not let's not fuck with that. No, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with any of this. No, no, no. Back. There we go. Right. Okay. I am saying it right. Well, isn't the miracle right? Okay. So let's make let's let's have another go at making my empire. Here we go. Right, so... <laughs> we have the Panic Hedgehog! 
Oh, I'm so tempted to take the Panic Hedgehog. Oh, uh, yeah, weirdly, actually, I think that's... Wait, is he... Was it Mammalian? Oh, yeah, there we are. There's Mammalian. I mean, honestly, the Panic, the panic Hedgehog would be very fitting, I feel. I, I think that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good choice. What else have we actually got here? The Monkey Empire, the Goat Empire, Horse Empire, slightly, slightly scary Cat Empire. Oh, wow. Okay. Because actually some of these I didn't have access to when I made this the last time around. So I'm going to have a quick look. Oh my God, the Necroids are scary. Oh my God, look at that. That's a vampire something. That's fucking terrifying. God, these are all terrifying. Cyclops, Orc, Dwarf. Unsure. Space Cadget. Yeah, it's that's that's a tricky one. We've got we've got Panic Hedgehog, who is our dear friend. Um who who we are very familiar with and always turns up when things are going terribly, terribly wrong. I, I feel a, I feel a strong pull. However, Space Cat looking slightly terrified about this entire endeavor. Also a strong one. Lithoids and Aquatics. Oh Jesus. What is that? That's a fucking tree. That's a that's a that's a fucked up tree. That's a fucked up Rubik's Cube. Oh god, these are just terrifying. Rocks. Yeah, rock people. Rock derivatives. Yeah, all the necroids are uh, suitably terrifying. Aquatics. Oh, there's Yoda. Another tree. Uh, a very contemplative looking squid person. Elephants! Not good. Tiberium tree. I'm honestly, I am drawn towards Panic Hedgehog. Honestly. Um. Okay, so we have. What have we got? Okay, what, what, lots of things. So, I mean, we did lean pretty heavily into the whole hamster thing the first time around. Do we? Do we embrace something slightly different? Do Do we embrace Panic Hedgehog as a lifestyle? Uh, what would be a good symbol for panic? Um, paradox. Yep, that's a, oh, that's paradox as in paradox the company. Pirates. Uh, that would be hilariously off-brand. Uh, what's what's a good symbol for panic? Yeah, pirate emblems are interesting. Squid. Cog. If there's something that looks is there something that looks like an exclamation point, I would fucking take it in an instant. Something spiky for hedgehogs? Yeah, that's that's not that's not a bad shout. Uh, uh corporate's a bit too easy. Oh, some of these are quite spiky. Pointy emblems, try those. Oh, they do actually have a pointy entry. That's quite funny. Uh that's quite pointy. Uh, that's pointy in all directions. That's relatively pointy. Well, oh, zoological toxoid splat, splat. Uh, round, pointy planetoid. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna start the galaxy. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just creating the species. Yeah, it's ah. How about that? That is both round and pointy. Curl up in the ball, spikes everywhere. Panic hedgehog. I like that idea. Uh, I mean, it's got to be in nifty colours because I like I like having nifty colours. Black and red. That's that's usually actually. Wait, no, hang on. What are the hazard colours? They're they're like they're usually orange and orange and black, isn't it? 
Oh, can, make, can I make it look like... I don't know. I want to almost make it look like a hazard symbol. <laughs> can we... Can I do that? Can I make it like a hazard symbol? Double spikes! Anything zoological. Um, well that's, that's kind of like a web. I think, I think, I think we had it. I think we had it with pointy. No, round, even. Defensive, defensive ball. Well, now it kind of looks like a bit like a hazard symbol. It's got, well, actually, it's more the umbrella symbol in the background. Um. Oh, man. That makes it look like a martial emblem. Let's go with that. Warning Panic Hedgehog. Like the extra spikes, yeah. Do the Empire looking one. Uh, which one's the Empire looking one? What that one, even more spiky. Double eagle. <laughs> Spiky on spiky. Yeah, that, that, that works. That works. Okay, so it's Continental World. Ah, oh, okay. So be bearing in mind I've only actually done this like once. So hang on, let's actually start start of the start of the start here. Right, so species name. Here we go. Ah uh, so where were we going with? We were going with Panic Hedgehog, weren't we? Did I just say umbrella? Yes. What one, one of them was kind of like, where is it? If you go. Yeah, here, look. If we did that, that, but we did it as red, uh, it would basically... That's basically the umbrella logo, but, you know. <laughs> uh, where was I? There we are. Right, okay. So, that's good. Right, species name. Uh, oh, God. Ang Angzelians. Ang oh, as in Anxiety. Ang Ang Zilongs. Ang I couldn't pronounce that. <laughs> it's my own empire and I can't pronounce it. That's an issue. Uh I see where we're going from though. Hogs of the spiky sky. <laughs> Anzeolons. Anzeolons. Uh, I don't know, it's not grabbing me. I'm trying to think. Anxiety, panic. Panic doesn't really lean into anything, does it? We can't really be the panic eons. That sounds just stupid. I don't know what the random thing comes up with. Glostaverheni! Definitely not that. Kazam. Grocknaflora! <laughs> oh, the Anxium Grocknaflorum. <laughs> That's terrible. I wouldn't be able to pronounce that in, in my own stuff. The Hedians. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I mean, come on. If we were doing like an orc species, Grocknack... I can't even pronounce it. Grocknaplorin would be perfect. Uh, I don't know. The... Anxiet Hegians. <laughs> As in anxiety ridden hedgehogs. The hegemony. <laughs> That's such a good point. The anxious hegemony, but slightly, slightly, uh. Uh. it's uh, quite funny. Hedgian, Hedgeites, Hedgeanite. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I think I cocked up the plural and the adjectives last time round. Anxious hegemony. I don't know. I think the ang. Very mind, I've got to actually pronounce this myself. I 
the high anxiety hegen hegeans. <laughs> oh god. This is so cursed, I love it. Hegeites, I mean that sounds kind of nutty. Anxians, yeah. He Hegeonite. He hedge Hegeonite. I'm never gonna be able to pronounce this. Anxiot Hegeans. Now when I put the in front of it, it got a bit confused. I think we had a couple of instances of the the. We had like the the Hamsterian, em Hamsterian Empire. It was a bit kind of weird. No thes. Yeah, I think that's where I cocked it up last time around. Uh, gender... Why does it have to be all pops? I mean, we could just have random ones. Oh, because they look slightly different. Oh, that's a female one. Okay, what does a male one look like? Exactly the same. They look no different. Oh, except that's... Do they look any different? Their noses move slightly. That's it. Indeterminate gender is fun. Well, that's true. Doesn't really matter too much, I suppose, really, does it? Right. What sort of world do we like? Oh, wait, no, hang on. Let's, uh... Wait, is that skipping a... That's skipping a phase. Right, hang on. Uh... Name lists. Okay. Oh, God. Now, this is, uh... This is a tricky one. Tundra because fur. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's... We'll 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 get to that one in a second. Let's uh let's get let, let's let's sort of do it in order so my head doesn't come off. Um so we've got Malian. God, some of these are fucking uh unpronounceable. What kind of world will make hedgehogs panic and build a spaceship? Well the thing is if you do that, it it, it would be a world that we'd want to inhabit, otherwise our home world wouldn't be inhabitable, which would be slightly confusing. Frozen worlds? I mean, maybe. ISS Winthian. Can you actually change these? I guess you can't. All the mammalian ones were just, like, completely unpronounceable. Right, mammalian 4 is what we did last time. Um, I quite liked the whole something son of something. That was quite funny. Wow, the Necroids have, like, incredibly normal-looking names. You can change the ship prefix. Oh, you can, can't you? HSS? But well, wouldn't it have to be the AHS? The Anxiety Hegeans ship? TLAs. TMI. Ass! <laughs> they are ass! They shot me in the ass, Ross! Oh, that's quite funny. Yeah, that's actually. <laughs> yep, okay, well, you've talked me around to that one. I didn't take much. Right, what have we, what have we got here? So we have a lot- oh, we've got machine ones. Oh, unit R2. That's- that's just- that's just boring. Uh... We can have Romans. Tiberius Domitus. Demetius. Uh, no, that's a bit boring. Uh... That's- that's incredibly dull. Uh... What do you got here? Roman anxious hexhogs. No, it doesn't really work, does it? I did like the fish names ones. Who was it? Who was some of the arthropod arthropod ones had great names, like rapid. Ref there you go. That was what the uh, the Athalans had. That was a deep space for a punitive response flotilla. Star flocks. Eh, I don't know. What, star flocks? Not sure, sure about that one. Void wings. 
murder. Oh, this is all about birds. Oh, the arthropods. What, like, uh, Frontier Patrol Flotilla? Let's see what else they got. Uh, Imdu! So the Hamsterians were arthropods. No, 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 I chose... I think it was Mammalian... What was it? Mammalian 4? Yeah, see, first star order, second star order. It, it was Mammalian 4. Void Claw, Starflock, Stella Retrix. Okay. Murder of Katawa. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that. I like the idea of a, a special reaction flotilla, but I hate the leader names. Mecha Denks Husk Squadron. Fucking hell, these are bloody hellfire. Navy cluster. Lithoids. Okay, let's have a look at the lithoids. Fucking hell. Journalist shards. Hekendine shards. I mean, we're not really rock people, are we? I thought I said lawnmower. Skelf lawnmower. I'm like, no, that's not what it says. Ooh, fallen stratum. Morphic stratum. Sheer stratum. Lofted stratum. That's quite funny. Lodged Clarity, Great Slip, Leaden Comb, Etched Finality, Stone Torrent, Lofty Reach. Actually, I kind of like some of that. Even though it makes no sense for the for the race, I, I still like those. Slipped Frosted Strat... They're all Stratums. Uh, fragments. Unpronounceables. The Unpronounceables. Oh, the Fungoids. Oh god, they all sound like literal interstellar terribleness. The toxoids, I can only imagine. Entropy levelers, forge fueled oxidizers. Bonamus pollen, nitrogen flemule, bromial bale, rutherium, copanesium, copanesium, perite, bismol. Alchemical Seekers, Acidic Projection, Dissolvers, Synthetic Spacefarers, that, that's... Unceasing Tit Writers, what? Are they going around writing tits? I mean, that's, you know, I mean, I guess that's a pursuit, but... <laughs> oh god, this is harder than I thought. I could have sworn it said Tit Writers. Was I reading that right? T I T R A T E R S tit writers <laughs> Unceasing tit writers that's what it says <laughs> uh, Radioactive Raiders basic compound Uh I don't know there's so many Star Hunters, Void Skulkers. Oh God, I don't know. Uh, hey, Maple of Thyrusen, welcome, welcome. I recently found out that Halo cruisers get their name from poem verses. Forward unto dawn, pillar of autumn. Yeah, the night that the ship names in Halo were really cool. It's annoying. I like the leader. I like some of the neat leader names, but I like some of the the, the 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 fleet names from other things. It's it's really quite annoying. I mean, honestly, having having uh the the whatever it was uh unceasing tit writers that that just could be just funny. Samakite, yitri yitritium. Fermadianinum. Arsenium? The AHS Arsenium. Let's go with that for now. We can always come back to that later. Right, now this is the culture novel ship names are fun. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a a, a mod for names. Is there, a, is there a mod for names? Because that could be uh, that could be quite fun. 
Oh, there's loads. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to write that down and have a look. Okay. I shall go looking for some name mods. Probably, probably towards the end of the week, I think. Yeah, don't break my tongue trying to pronounce it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay, I am open to suggestions because I actually wait. No, are we picking that? We haven't picked the world yet, have we? So we've got two trait points and five trait picks. So what do we go with? Non-adaptive slow breeders. Helldivers two mods, for example. Oh, okay, that could be funny. I will have to have a look at that because the mods the mods shouldn't mess this up, should they? This is, this is kind of like core stuff. You're going to do cybernetics again. I mean, we eventually got to cybernetics through the traditions, didn't we? So... Um... I honestly, it's absolutely the wrong end of the day for me to try and think what the heck I want to do with this. I just think we just go with something for, for giggles. Natural engineers. Now that could be a good one. Engineering research from because they because they dig, go psionic psionic hedgehogs, not not a not a Sonic the Hedgehog but psionic the Hedgehog. Do you have do I have psionic? I don't think I do. Uh, psionic the Hedgehog yeah exactly. I'm not seeing it. <sighs> I don't think I have psionics. I don't have psionics. Oh, psionics are... Uh, society research. Uh, okay. Hey, Pistol! Uh, this is the game that never stops evolving. Yeah, we kind of... We, we effectively won uh, Season 1. So I'm doing a bit of planning before Season 2, before we actually kind of get started. Um, hey, unpronounceable username. Welcome, welcome. There's an origin for psionics, or you do it through tradition again. Oh, okay. Oh, what do you mean psionic? You're a spiritualist and research ascension perk and psionics is crazy strong. I mean, why? Right, okay, so what would that, what would that involve picking here? Uh, spiritualist, I'm guessing. Why is this not in a bloody alphabetical order that would make my oh nothing here oh so does it does it matter here oh this is species traits oh okay right existential entropy uh let's have a look where was that no existential iteroparity population growth during raw raw bleh, war and crisis plus 30 percent Uh, basically, when there's a fight, everyone gets jiggy. <laughs> the sky is full of evil insects. We must shag. Which, I mean, is kind of funny. Find the one, but psychological infertility? Population growth during war and crisis minus 30%. Yeah, I guess that's like the polar opposite of that. That's uh, kind of loopy. Um, oh man. I'm gonna, I, what do we reckon? Natural engineers, because they're hedgehogs and they burrow. I like that idea. Natural sociologists and pick spiritualists for ethics. Okay, so natural sociologists. Uh, yeah, I was thinking natural engineers, to be honest. Yeah, I think, honestly, natural engineers actually speaks to me. Because hedgehogs dig. Quick learners. Uh, that's the leader XP. Leader experience gain? Okay. Right. Because engineers dig. That's it. Yeah, that's true. Yep, that's also true. Right. 
So do we go with a weakness so we can get a uh, extra point or do we just leave it? Repugnant. That's probably a crap idea. Decadent. Resilient. I mean, if we were like, I don't know, armadillos, that would make sense. Unruly because they're always anxious. <laughs> Where's unruly? I think I had unruly uh as empire size from pops plus 10 percent is that bad uh what does jinx do jinxed leader maximum negative traits plus one literally scaredy cat icon very bad okay leader maximum negative traits plus one i mean we could do that do deviance uh Governing ethics attraction minus 15. These people are rebellious in nature and constantly trying to challenge the status quo. Mm. Panicking hedgehogs are not going to be particularly anti status quo, are they? Um, wasteful. They are the anti womble. I mean, Jinx does look like a bit of a cheesy one. Okay, so it gives us one extra pick of, uh, what do we do? Uh, sorry, my brain is auto-correcting. Agrarian! I mean, they are hedgehogs. Ingenious hedgehogs? Industrious hedgehogs? Intelligent hedgehogs. Oh, intelligent engineering hedgehogs. Well, intelligence, intelligence is two. We've only got one trait point. Oh, sedentary and intelligent. What does sedentary do? Why couldn't this be in alphabetical? Population growth from uh, immigration and resettlement cost. I mean, hedgehogs are relatively sedentary. They do sleep, don't they? Remove quick learners and add, add intelligent? Uh... What's the difference? Hang on, let's let's focus up one at a time here. My my brain is coming out my ears. Uh, I literally can't find intelligent. Okay, intelligent. Right. So if we pulled quick learners, add intelligent. All oh, right. Okay, that's two. Right. Uh, right. What does sedentary do? Uh, can't find it. I've lost it. There you go. Population growth from immigration, resettlement cost. I mean, we could do. Which gives us one more pick. Hedgehogs aren't very communal, are they? Uh, they're quite docile. What does that do? Empire size from pops minus 10. I mean, that will actually cancel out the other thing. Well, that's two points. We need we need another negative. Yeah. Traditional. Unity from jobs. I mean, unity is good. We we like the unity. Conformists. Conformist head by hedgehogs. Really. Okay. Again, that's two points. Uh, traditional. Okay. Uh, yeah, Unity's a good one. There we go. That that's. I think that's about as much min maxing as we should uh, we should engage engage with. I think more lemming than hedgehog with conformist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. So we're smart but slightly nervous. I like it. Okay. So what does that what does that give us gives us as an overview? So we have. Engineering research from jobs, plus 15. Leader negative traits, plus one. Uh, lots of research from many things. Uh, population growth and immigration, minus 15. Resettlement is plus 25. That's not so bad, actually. And unity from jobs is 10%. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. Right. Home worlds. Here we go. Uh, um, so what do we reckon? Uh... 
Someone said frozen, but that doesn't sound quite right for... Well, I suppose... Frozen would mean they're in hibernation all the time. <laughs> Tundra. That's true. Have... Have... Uh... Cold... But rocky bits. Mosses and lichens. That's... That's very... Forest world, because it's a hedge? Uh, that's... That's possible. Hey, Hoi Leper, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, jungle, tropical world. Uh, is Savannah? Oh no, Savannah's dry. It isn't actually a. F it, I think continental is a forest world, isn't it? That's oh, oceans. Oceans, tropical, continental. Where's Savannah? No, Savannah's dry. Desert, arid, Arctic, alpine, tundra. Hmm. Hot makes them scurry. Yeah, but the thing is with that, if if they if they have a if you start them off with this preference, it means they'll be running away from tundra worlds to find more tundra worlds because that's what they uh that that's what they like. Uh starting world decides what districts you have more of at the start. Oh, okay. Let's go with Tundra. I like I like the fact that maybe, you know, they're maybe they're hibernating. You know, that that sounds quite funny. Right, homeworld name. Oh boy. Hipness! <laughs> of the star name Hip. Oh wow. Yapathy. No, oh, that sounds terrible. Wit world has more food, frozen food uh, fr frozen food. <laughs> frozen food. Frozen World has more minerals. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was gonna say, Tropical is probably more forest trees than grassland. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think we'll stick with Tundra. I like the idea of Tundra. Maybe, maybe you know, they're kind of like... Yeah, I'm okay with that. Right, so what do we call ourselves? The, the, the Hegeans? So the homeworld name would be... Oh god, Panic Prime. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe maybe the star name could be Panic Prime. The planet should be Hedgei. Okay, so that would be what? Hedgei. Which would make the star name... Well, we call the star name whatever we like. Or maybe... I mean, we could call the star Panic Prime, I suppose, couldn't we? The exterminators of all life. <laughs> Latin for panic is terrore. That's sad. That's classy. I like that, Quinlis. That's classy. Explodium Maximus. <laughs> no, I like I like terrore. That's 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 a little class to it. I like it. Um. Right. So it's a starting solar system. Random. Random trinary, random trinary two, random binary, binary, unary. What's an unary? A system with a single star. Okay. Titwin? Titwin? Federated Thalen Preservers Starting Solar System. Oh god. Deneb, Sol, Ocean Paradise, Void Dwellers. I have no idea. Double suns. Double suns? What is this? Fear of the dark? Regular star system with a pair of binary planets. Determines the layout but not location of your starting solar system. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. It's a binary one. Each star has its own planetary system. Determines the layout but not location. Well, I suppose we get a free extra planet, wouldn't we? I suppose if we had a binary system. Yeah, uh, yeah, we could go binary. We could go binary. So head eye, star name is Terore, and we're doing a random binary system. Okay. Uh, city appearance. Okay. Uh, mammalian, reptilian, lithoid, arthropoid. Uh, necroid. 
Okay, just for simply for the fact that that looks badass, I uh, <laughs> I don't like the fact that we've we've built like we've built some very angry looking uh, we've built some very angry looking uh, buildings due to our inner panic. I like I like this idea. Spiky buildings, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. Oh wait, hang on. There's, there's, there's. I forgot about the rooms. I forgot about this. Uh. Oh. Is there something that looks like a cave? I'm sure there was one that looked like a cave. Because that would be perfect. I mean, that's close, but that's just a mess. That looks like a cave. It's very purple, though. Origin Underground City. Uh, we'll, we'll get there in a second. We'll have a look. Underground. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a second. I'll, I'll have a look. Oh god, that looks foul. That's the... There we go! Look! It's even, it's even frosty. Look at that. Frosty and spiky. How's, how about that? I like that. Let's go with that. Panic Hedgehogs. Oh, this is so cursed. Okay, uh, yeah, I like that. Right, Origin. Uh, okay, so we've probably got a lot of, of different ones here. Now, the first one I chose was, hilariously, I thought it was called Galactic Doorstop. It's not. It's Galactic Doorstep. This is the one we had originally. So you guys talking about Subterranean. Do I have Subterranean? I don't think I have Subterranean. Hibby dragons. Yeah, don't don't have subterranean. I guess that is a DLC that I do not have. What the hell is syncretic evolution? Serviles. Ugh. Doomsday. Challenging origin. Okay, great. Civilization's homeworld is highly unstable, and it's only a matter of time before it explodes. Their only hope is to seek refuge elsewhere before it's too late. That doesn't sound fun. Planet will explode within 35 to 45 years. Guaranteed habitable worlds are not spawned. Uh, yeah, let's not do that, eh? Here be dragons. Home system inhabited by a protective sky dragon that will become wrathful if displeased. That is the panic origin. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, that sounds terrifying. Hegemon? Effect. Leader of Hegemony Federation. A supranational alliance of space faring civilizations. Guaranteed habitable worlds. Diplomacy Traditions and the Federation. Lost Colony. Okay. Let's have a look. Starting Planet Colonial Spirit Planetary Modifier. Advanced AI Empires. Oh, an advanced AI empire of the same species is present in the galaxy. Penalties. Starting Planet is not this empire's homeworld. Hmm. Hmm. Remnant is starting on a relic world? Okay. Oh, so many choices. Remnants. The dragon start is easy and fun. Yeah, it could do. We got relic world. Ruined archaeology. Archaeo studies. Yeah. On the shoulders of giants. Ex Gravitas Archaeology Site. Okay. Precursor event chains blocked until this mystery is solved. Uh, interesting. Lost Colony fixed the panic aspect. They ran off. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Or we have a pet space dragon. 
Well, there's not much point deciding a, 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 a home planet if we don't start on one. I like the idea of having a... Let's face it. What would what would be a high cause of anxiety due to the course of a bunch of hedgehogs? A fucking giant dragon floating around in the sky. Oh, you get one, but it's not your species home planet. Oh, okay. Um, ah, uh, so many. Colonial spirit plants are a modifier. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of, uh, it kind of does kind of work. I like the idea of let here be dragons, honestly. Giant dragon. We're hiding underground because there's a giant dragon in the sky. And we wish to leave because there's a giant dragon. I think I think that works. I like that idea. We, we might come back to that, but I, I like that idea. Okay, right. Now this is where I completely budged it last time here. What have we got here? Democratic. Oh, can we do we do we pick one of these? Yeah, this is this this is this is where I completely lost it. It is a pretty good reason to panic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, panic hedgehogs. Um, okay. So is this one we pick? Bearing in mind this is only the second time I've ever done this. Right, okay. Uh civics. Mining guilds. Oh, spiritualists. Oh, okay. Can we do spiritualists? Uh I don't think we can do spiritualists for some reason. Why can we not do that? Oh, it's an ethic. Oh, sorry, right. Ethic points left. Right, got it, got it, got it. Uh, spiritualists. But not fanatic spiritualists. Oh, it's cost one. Okay, spiritualists. Right, okay. Uh, oh, fanatic preferably, okay. Egalitarian militarists. Uh, we can't do that because fanatic costs two. So we can only do... We can only have two in total. Oh, unless militarists is like one of these. Xenophob? Xenophob. I, I, I don't, I don't. Un oh, xenophobe. Xenophobe. Got it. Oh, you can have three. I can't count. You're right. Okay, so hang on. So, spiritualists, egalitarian, militarist. Okay. Which then brings us into... Uh... Then what? So, civics. Uh, I mean, mining guilds sounds very in-keeping. Because, <laughs> you know, they spend a lot of time underground. Um... Uh, definitely not anglers. Ascensionists. Uh, ultimate goal of this empire is to ascend to ever greater levels of fulfillment. Fulfillment. Owned planets get plus one attention ascension tier at game start. Planetary ascension mod effects plus twenty five. Tradition cost from empire size minus twenty five. That sounds fun. I mean, ascension going up. Digging upwards? I don't know. Uh, death cult. One of these days. Death priests. Metal! Selective kinship. Uh, what's that one? Opinion of empires with shared species class. Plus 100. Opinion of other empires. Minus 50. Uh, I'm not so sure about that one. Digging through the warp. Yeah. 
a dude with a star next to it. Uh, dude with a star. I don't think there is one. Yeah, I like the idea of essentialist actually. That 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 sounds that sounds pretty pretty in keeping. Masterful crafters. Okay, what does this do? A penchant for meticulous crafting lies at the heart of the society. Artisans are replaced with artif artificers. Ar artificers? Ar artificers. Artificers. Democratic? Democratic government. Uh, that's not here. Unless you mean over here. Oh, democratic authority. Oh, right. This is. Oh, Christ. Okay, this is. This has opened up a, 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 a whole thing. Right. Oh, God. Uh. Diplomatic corps? Not democratic, though. Beacon of Liberty. Monthly unity, empire size from pops. Eh, don't know. Beacon of Liberty is really. Don't know. Meritocracy? Ah, dude with a star. Specialist population resource output plus 10%. Uh, interesting. Police state. Shadow Council. Meritocracy is amazing. Okay. My god, we're a we're an anxious we're an anxious spiritualist, militaristic, egalitarian, ascensionist meritocracy. <laughs> oh my brain. Okay. Okay. We are panic nerds. Yeah, I can relate. Can relate. Okay. Uh, advisor voice. Okay, we've got a few different ones here. This is, uh, this is funny. Priority alert. This pre-recorded message is triggered in the event that your VIA unit has suffered a critical degradation of its ethical constraints matrix. Hyperdrive primed. All systems ready. Ooh. Now, let's see what's out there. This channel is now under military control. Obey all instructions transmitted here and report any insurgent activity to the nearest occupation officer. Nah. Have a nice day. The blind masses must be led down the path of reason. No great advance is made without great sacrifice. Don't sound very panicky though, do they? Death comes for all sapiens in the end. But do no one said it couldn't be led a merry chase first. Except the spiritualist. Do the do the Democrat? There isn't. There's a diplomat. Nothing is impossible to those who would try. Nothing is impossible to those who would try. I just want to hear the aquatic one. We all have the makings of greatness in us. We just need to take the helm, chart the course, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Do you know what? That, that actually fits that actually fits better. That's that's literally like, fuck this shit, let's get out of here. <laughs> I I think that's funny. I like that one. Right, Empire name. Oh god, right. Uh What the hell do we call ourselves? Sweet homunculus Jesus. I mean not that. Panic Hedgehog Pirates. The Hedge the Hegemony. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know, there's something hegemony? It's gotta be something, there's something hegemony. United Planets of Hegia? Oh yeah, it's a bit it's a bit long. We well, you have to remember that if the if the if it's if the, the name is too long, it literally disappears off the UE. Um which is which is kinda of funny. We could be the Ascendant Hegemony. Terror 
Ferrari hegemony. <laughs> I, 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 I like the ascendant hegemony. Hegemony? Oh fuck, what would be an adjective of that? Oh god. I'm gonna have to change my I'm gonna have to change my little uh little uh avatar down here on the bottom right. I've gotta change it to Panic Hedgehog. How would that fit into an adjective, my brain? How to English? Hedge? To hedge. Um <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure. I wish I could have examples. I think it does give you examples at the uh, the end, doesn't it? I think. I don't know, my brain. A head ship. Oh, well, okay, that makes sense. Or maybe, it, well, wouldn't that be Hegean then? Because we're Hegeites, therefore it'd be a Hegean ship. Or a he hegemian. Hege Why have we done this to ourselves? Hegem. Hegemian? <laughs> no. Yes? Not sure. A hegemian ship. Fuck knows. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go with that for now. A hegean ship. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what I figured. Right, flag we already did because we bounced around choosing the spikiest thing we can come up with. Cha cha chia, <laughs> yeah. Confederated Hedgehide States. Oh Jesus. Right, ship appearance. Okay. Well, I can actually see the damn thing. Uh, it wish to rotate, rotate. Right, so we got humanoid, um, mammalian, reptilian, uh, avian. Look kind of weird looking. Uh. Very spiky. Well, I... Spiky ships? Spiky ships? Don't break tongue. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I probably will. Necroid? Okay, they look pretty cool. They are quite spiky. They are quite spiky. Oh, that's very spiky. In fact, the cruiser is incredibly spiky. Yeah, no, that's the good shout. Right, I want to see what else we got, because when I first did this, we didn't actually have a huge amount of these. Uh, I mean, the aquatics are nice, but not really. Lithoids look like rocks. There's no surprise there. Arthropoid, fungoids. What are the fungoids? I don't hate the fungoids ones, actually. Look at the necroid colossus. Oh, titan. That's a big boy. Oh, what does that remind me of? That is... Oh, god damn. That is an absolute dead spit of something, and I can't bloody remember what it is. I have seen that before somewhere. It's it's 40k-esque Tyranid gun. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's, uh, it's the friggin' Bob Strangler launcher. Yep, that's it. That's the one. Right, we've got arthropoids, fungoids, molluscoids. Oh, okay, oh, these are the titans. As you know, the molluscoid ones don't actually look terrible. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I think we may well go with the necroid ones. Seems like they have the most spikes on them. King Gang. I don't think it had the colossus. It goes. Where is it? Uh, frigate, corvette. Hab oh, Habitat. Juggernaut. Oh, there we go. Colossus. Sorry, I didn't go far enough. Uh, oh god. That is, that is a spiky boy. Oh god, the avian one's just weird. It is very spiky. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with the Necroid ones. They look, they do look pretty badass, and spiky, which is which is the main the main thing. Okay, so 
Uh, oh yeah, we got color variants. Okay, I only got a. I could be a ginger panic hedgehog. Actually, honestly, if there was a white variant, that would actually be more in keeping because he's he's worried himself into early graying. But you know. Um. Okay. Uh, clothing. Regal. Uh, weirdly roby. Slightly monk-like. Uh, armored. Tempting. Uh, armored, but slightly more friendly. Techno. And robes again. Uh, I like. I like. I think this works, because it's kind of like utilitarian, but armored. Yeah. Okay, so. Ah, uh, oh my god. What do we come up with for a name? <laughs> Boron Foyadi. Not, not, uh, Chef Boyadi. That's something else entirely. Flurio Crocs. Oh my god, that's terrible. Hedgeite of War. I mean, that sounds more like a. That's more like a job description than a name. Um. That could. Well. Eh. Why is air title not applicable? Oh, air th because we're not an empire. Right, that makes sense. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I remember Bamboozle was saying about Sanic, but we could posh it up a little bit. We could go Sanic. Uh, Sanic. Uh. <laughs> Uh, yes. Hasselhog. <laughs> Sunny Hasselhog. Oh, God, what's wrong with us all? There are many things. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Ruler title. Uh, hmm. Sunny Hedgehogius. <laughs> That's dead. Yeah, it's like... Oh god. Sonic head jog. That day, that, that, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Class it up a little bit. Or maybe put an extra I in there. So you go. Sonic head jog. <laughs> just, just an extra I. Just to class it up a little bit, you know? Ruler. Uh ruler title. Okay, it's gotta be something to do with tunneling. The can we can we put great excavator? Again, if I put the in front, doesn't that make it kind of a bit It goes a bit weird if you put the in front, doesn't it? The fifth hedgehog. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Oh god, can I come up with a biography? Probably not right now, no. Oh. Oh god. Grand Digger. I like Grand. 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 Great Excavator sounds like. They are leading the way through the tunnels. I think. It sounds. It's. It sounds more classy. Oh god, I really can't do a biography right now, honestly. Grand Borer. Head shovel. <laughs> oh, God. I'll come back to the biography at another point, I think. The Great Boar. Now, the Great Boar would be a... Actually, do you know what? That would have actually been a fantastic name for the, the home planet. Calling the home planet the Great Boar would have been quite funny. Because they would have had to tunnel to the middle of it. Um... In order to... The... Wait, I forgot. Oh. No, I've got a better one. The Grand Shoveler. There you go. How's that? Paco. <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I actually, honestly, the Great Boar sounds like a. That, that sounds quite funny. Grand High Spade, yeah. Um, 
okay, right. So Grand Shoveler, uh, Sunik Hedge Hedgehog, excellent. Right, Ruler Traits. Okay, so I've only got one for this. The Great Ball just sounds good. It really does. Yeah. Uh, principled Spycraft Mining Rush. I mean. Uh, logic understanding. Docked keep, uh, docked ship upkeep, army upkeep. Uh, eye for talent. Now, eye for talent is the one we took last time. What else? Feedback loop. Stability and amenities. Oh, gestalt consciousness. Yeah, no, we definitely not one of those. Charisma. Edicts upkeep and edicts fund. The edicts thing got away from us last time. I just think, honestly, I think Mining Rush would be just perfect. A firm focus on increasing mineral output. Yeah, because we're digging like maniacs, because there's a dragon in the sky. I, th I think that could work. I think that could work. <laughs> Hello, Elm! How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, okay. We're good. Okay, so we have the Ascendant Hegemony. I should have another eye in it, probably. With the Great Boar that is a Tundra World. Excellent. Uh, uh, the species name... Anxious, it's a basically Anxious Hedgehog. It's basically what that means. I think about EDX, it's okay to go with the allowance if you pay for it in Unity, but some of the bonuses are massively worth it. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think it just got away from us last time. Right, so we are a theocratic republic. Okay, that's that's pretty funny. Right, so we'll do a save there. That works, isn't it? There we go. Ascendant to Gemini, save successfully. It's funny in the rules it says no politics. It we're playing the biggest galactic politics game. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> no, it's very true. An awful, an awful lot of uh, assorted b backroom deals. Are, are usually struck in this game. You are you are correct. It was a, a level of irony I was not aware of until now. But uh, yeah, no, I'm 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 picking up what you're putting down there. Okay, so we should have. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's good. So we've 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 put that together. That's nice. Um, so we'll leave we'll leave the original one. We'll leave the Hamsterian Empire there as a as a reminder of our of our first foray. And we have the panic hedgehogs as our um as our uh, new new species that's that's brilliant yeah um goes pretty good uh, thank you very much elm uh unfortunately i'm about to wrap up in the next few minutes um we've basically come to the end of what is effectively season one and we're kind of planning season two um so this we've just made our own um this is going to be my player empire for the next run through so that'll be funny. Uh, click the eagle. Yeah, that just tells it to to um. Oh, regular. Okay, regular game. Oh, that's locked. Spawning forced. Empire. Oh yeah. Otherwise, otherwise we could potentially end up with two ascendant hegemonies. I'm with you now. Yeah. And next time around, I need to make sure that that's that's lit up in order to actually actually um. No, wait. Hang on. Uh, Force spawn. There we go. That's what we want, isn't it? <laughs> Click the Hamsterian's eagle. Well, we don't want we don't want them turning up again, do we? Uh, yes, we have two player made species. Yes, we have the Swolfen Empire, which is uh, Matt's uh, contribution, which is hilarious, uh, and the K Kiri Kiriun Empire, which I'm sure I'm not actually friggin' pronouncing correctly. Cousins! We could have the Hamsterians come back. I mean, we could! We could! It's, it's a possibility. I'm tempted to make an empire. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna be in any great hurry, I don't think. I don't, I don't wanna, like... I, I don't wanna launch uh, a new season and then have everyone go, oh, but I wanted to put this in it! And, and uh, yeah, so... We, we may have a bit of a kind of uh, bit of a planning moment, I think. How do we share empires? 
Uh, there is a text document um, that should have them in. Uh, you'll have to uh, remind me on the Discord. We have a Discord, by the way. Uh, you can find it on the About page. Um, and it's a particular text file. And what I do, I take the context, contents of your text file and then I add it to my own one. Um, and then, yeah, it, it shows up here. So, uh, yeah. We're going to have to finalise what mods we're going to have next time as well. Actually, I've got to see about some name mods. That'd be quite funny. Um, but yeah, for now, for now, Paradox really like those text documents. I mean, if it works, if it works, it works. That's, that's the, that's the main thing, isn't it? Um, okay, anyway, so we're not, we're not going to make, we're not going to make the empires, we're not going to make the new galaxy just yet. I think we need like a proper planning session for that. Um, I don't know if that's going to be this weekend, um, because honestly I am so fucking tired at the moment. I, I think I might just need Sunday as a, as a collapsing day, possibly. We'll, um, we'll see how it goes. And we, we might maybe put something in temporary for Monday until we can get this all planned. But, um, there's no great rush anyway. Um, we shall, uh, we shall see how it goes, yeah. Because I know what will happen. We'll, we'll, we'll get everything sorted out and then that new DLC will drop. And then everyone will be kind of like, ah, I want the new DLC. And it's like, you know, like, well, you know, something like that. Collapse two days, recharge. <laughs> no, we're on, we're, uh, we're back again tomorrow. Uh... Yeah, I'd actually better, like, wrap the stream up. That'd be an idea, wouldn't it? Um, but there we go. Right, that's good. That's good. So we've got the... We have the have the new species, which is glorious. Uh, we have the, the two... Two, uh... Uh... Player-made species there, so that's awesome. So, yeah. We're not going to be in any great hurry. Um, I shall have a ponder about next week, and, um... We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um... Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was good. That was a good use of the rest of the stream, um, which was which was making a new player thing. Because, like I said, that is literally the only, the second time I've actually done that. So the first time around, I just pushed buttons and went for it. So you know. But yeah, we need to like finalize mods and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's do things like that. Right. So let us end the stream. Thank you all very much for being a part of the stream. Um, sorry, my brains were a little bit uh, mashed. Um, yes, as aforementioned, uh, I am doing a fundraiser for Stack Up, which you can find by following the aforementioned links here. They use video games and nerd stuff to help out uh, veterans and servicemen and women. So take a look and uh, donate if you feel like it, or just read up or spread the word. That's also good. Um, you can find all my assorted links do, 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 here. Um, I will be back tomorrow alongside the Chaos Collab, which is me, uh, Bamboo Zabale, Balabalam, and Robotic Battle Toaster for some more Helldivers. God knows what my brain is going to be like, but they're used to it by now. Um, so tune in for that, because that'll be just absolute, uh, total insanity. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for being part of it. Uh, we've got much things done. I won! I actually friggin' won! Who would have seen that coming? Not me. That's for bloody sure. Jesus Christ. Right, let's see who is streaming. So HBFT is on? Yeah, because this is, uh, later than our usual, um, usual streaming time. So, yeah, let's go read HBFT. He is a fine chap. Um, let's copy his link, put it in chat. There we go. So please be kind when you... Oh yeah, chuck us a follow if you like what you see. Chuck us a follow. Um, please be kind when you raid. Take care of yourselves in the interim. I'll just catch you next time. Bye-bye.